All right, we are here. We are a squad. Welcome everyone to Handle Ever Live. Uh, I am John. Howdy, howdy. There's even a Jeremy. So weird. I'm here. I know. <laughs> my schedule's been weird. It will continue to be weird because my eldest is a tennis player now. But I think I'm going to be here every other week for at least the next month or two. So fingers crossed. I mean, hey, you got to train the future stars. So uh, exactly. that's awesome. Exactly. So uh, we have some we, other people joining yeah, us as well. We've got some special guests uh, to Jeremy's right, but the left audience left i don't know whatever we have jack <laughs> say hi hello hello <laughs> and conway uh, thanks for inviting us here uh hello uh, i'm conway i'm very excited to play with uh headlock yeah uh so jack and conway are in the hall of fame as the first to get all four oblivion mode achievements in the big update with the new achievements uh ultimate challenge advanced and regular, uh, defeating even bugs <laughs> that made it so that achievement did not unlock properly, <laughs> but it all worked out and uh, they were there. Are you showing us your cat or something, Jeremy? You all... I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to like frame it up, but it's not really working. She's right well, here. She's the... like black on black, yeah. so it's hard to see her, but she's like <laughs> the little fuzzball right there. <laughs> Someone mentioned it in the Twitch chat, so. All right. Oh, now you're awake. I could have mm. used your eyes a second ago. Uh, cool. Yeah, we've got lots of people in the chat. Sparky Wolf and Seamus the Hug Monster, everyone. So, uh, yeah, um, I would be, of course, remiss if I did not mention that we make digital tabletop games and like Sentinels. So check all that out at HandleLabra.com. Uh, HandleLabra also believes in civil rights for everyone. So make sure that you are excellent to one another. And if you are not, you may be removed. Uh, okay, so tonight we are going to learn from the masters. We're going to learn from Jack and Conway. How do you beat Ultimate Oblivion? Uh, so why don't you tell Indeed. us a bit about... Well, tell us a bit about the setup that's here, maybe. And why sure. it's like this. <laughs> yeah, so the setup we used to beat Ultimate Oblivion uh, involved uh, a specific uh, combination of cards between Visionary and Legacy. So Visionary has a card, Twist the Ether, which can change, you put it on, it's an ongoing, you put it on a target, and it can change the damage type uh, that that target deals, and also increase it or decrease it by one. So we use that card, uh, in, put that on Oblivion, and use that in conjunction with Legacy's lead from the front and uh, his next evolution. And so uh, lead from the front allows Legacy to uh, basically jump in front of uh, the the team and uh, redirect damage uh, from a villain target to him and next evolution makes him immune to one uh, singular damage type so the the net effect of all of those cards together is whenever oblivion tries to deal damage to the team we can redirect it to legacy change it to the type that he's immune to and then have him take no damage instead so we found that if you can get all three of those cards together <clears throat> Uh, we found that's a very powerful way of negating the tons of damage that Oblivion mm -hmm. can dish out. Especially in the first uh, phase. So it, yeah. Yeah, especially yeah. in the first phase. Uh, even in the, the second phase, um, the, uh, dealing the thing, all that energy damage. I'm sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. you. Um, I think no, go uh, ahead, go ahead. some of the complications here are that if you don't take damage from Oblivion at all in the second phase, he has a ton of counters to the inevitable destruction, uh, the inevitable destruction timer. Um, mm -hmm. And so navigating that is a important strategy that we have to deal with with this team composition. There's a few other diff different like heroes or th that could get around that better. Um, the best example of which is the Adamant Sentinels, um, um, vis no, um, uh, Idealist, uh, who reduces damage mm -hmm. by one, so yeah. you can repeat that power. That stun bolt basically mm -hmm. as her power. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's really um, that that is a really effective way of dealing with phase two. Um, in addition, a few of the um, nem the nemeses are rather are rather difficult, uh, namely Dark Mind. Um, as we're going to be right. looking I'll to use the scions. Yeah, oh scions. I'm so sorry. Yeah, um, yeah that's okay. Scion. Um, as this composition is intended to create a situation where we can stall long enough to set up benchmark and absolute zero to kind of 
be at a point where they can destroy Oblivion in one or two rounds. Right. Um, well, and with Twist the Ether, that's great for Absolute Zero, I was thinking too, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's a big reason why Absolute Zero was chosen as a damage dealer. Uh, there are plenty of other options, though, that I've seen that are very successful. So um, uh, Lifeline is a great damage dealer, especially if you can negate his self damage mm -hmm. with uh, Legacy's Lead from the Front or, or uh, uh, heroic interception. Uh, yeah. Yeah, heroic interception rather. Uh, uh, Stuntman is also a, a great damage dealer. Uh, um, it, 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 we, yeah. we cannot go with, go with the stream without mentioning that Guys is an exceptional hero in every regard. He is. <laughs> yeah. He's the, of best. Course, the best. Guys, the guys, best. guys, let the greatest hero oh. ride. Jeremy, your <laughs> video is gone. Oh, but you're back. Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm here. I noticed that I'm not on the stream, but I was letting you all say your. Piece. Yeah, you you were gone. You, like you were, your video was gone. So that's why, it, like. Yeah, I switched my camera because it was for some reason it was like being all choppy. So I switched. Okay, maybe I had to like click on Discord for it to update. That might have been a thing. Uh, cool. So uh, yeah, that is all the good stuff. So uh, before we get started, I also wanted to ask, like, why did you do this? Why did why did you decide that this was the achievement you were going to go for, and also you're going to do it as a team? Yeah, so I've been a fan of Sentinels of the Multiverse for a pretty long time, and uh, uh, I I sort of uh, missed out on the earlier challenges. Only got into the game like mm -hmm. after the uh, you know most of the variants had been discovered, and uh, when I saw this uh, sort of race mm. uh, challenge uh, coming out, I was excited to to try my hand. And uh, I had previously introduced Conway to the game uh, a few months before, and so yeah, asked. I thought it'd be more fun if we if we did it together, and um, yeah. Oh, did you watch something else? Have you two played Sentinels like on the tabletop, or just this video game, or how? I started with the video game and have since picked up uh, nice. uh, several of the the tabletop. <laughs> Uh, versions. I have uh, I have sadly only played it in the digital form, uh, partly as a result of the pandemic uh, mm -hmm. preventing well, physical yeah. interaction. But um, <laughs> there is that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry to be a downer. Uh, but um, in a similar vein, um, or building off what Jack said, I uh, he got me and he introduced me to this game back in February or March, and I I really enjoyed the art style and I and I and, and all the flavor. This game is like a flavor win of in and of itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, totally. And so we both. Um. I and as a result of getting into the game so like late, unquote, which, um, I wasn't able to really participate in the achievement hunts and stuff like that. Um, but um, uh, we both realized back in June that we hadn't actually beaten a blue Uh We just had never done it once. And so we spent a month just feeding it for the first time. I remember <laughs> uh, we had really we had long nights where our friends would. Would 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 message us? We would uh, jump in our Discord call at like 8 p.m. and then come back at 2 a.m. and we're like, this is the same run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was it was really fun. There was just a lot of interactions we were learning, and we really enjoyed the process of trying to be able to play on the first time. Um, and then once we succeeded, um, I ended up streaming uh, for like two weeks. I streamed pretty consistently, um, random Oblivion runs, um, and I really enjoyed the act of kind of trying to put together and figure out how these heroes work in, in regard to this difficult challenge. I wasn't that successful, but um, it taught me a lot about Oblivion. And so when we looked mm -hmm. at the achievement list, we're like, which ones do we have experience to do? And we just immediately were like, Oblivion. We, I know we can do Oblivion. Right, because you've been <laughs> focusing on Very cool. On that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we gave like a better you know, week. Ya, oh, go ahead, Jeremy. I was just going to say, like, I think what's so interesting, I was actually thinking about this in the car while I was picking up my son today. Like. There are a million really great digital card games out there that are either like 1v1 or whatever, but this idea of like the multiple hero setup, you know, like, you know, yeah, you can build a deck where it's like, I control this character and I build a deck over the course of the game, but it's just me against the game. Whereas this idea of team building that adds that extra sort of meta level is something that I don't think I've really ever seen before in a digital game. Obviously there's tons of tabletop games that have really great multiplayer cooperative modes, but this idea of like putting together a team and having that sort of meta level on top of, well, which cards do you actually use as those individual heroes is something that's somewhat unique to this game. And I think it's one of the reasons why it's had such interesting staying power. And as you say, you're like new to the game, but you sort of fell in love with this idea of trying to figure out how to, you know, what are the best strategies 
strategy for taking on Oblivion in this really specific way. It's just, it's just, it's one of the reasons why this game, I love this game and I have for so long and I continue to, so. If yeah. I can say, I want to note, what make one one note. When we first played Oblivion, we didn't understand exactly the rules. And so we looked at it <laughs> entirely from a, like a, uh, a flavor perspective. We put together a team of like first responders right. and because we, we thought they like died permanently. It was, it was hard to explain. We thought we had exactly one team. And so I oh, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, the whole concept of being able to take a new hero is like brand new for Oblivion and a big yeah. difference. So, yeah. 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 But yeah, that was that was that was really fun when, <laughs> when we kind of put together a narrative of who are the first heroes to respond to Oblivion in the Oblivion event. Right. It was like Chrono Ranger, Captain Cosmos. It was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. If you uh, want to see more of that, you should check out Tales from the Archive on our channel on Sundays. <laughs> that's true, yeah. Because he does exact, a very similar kind of thing yeah. where he specifically goes thematic in terms of storytelling. Hmm. So we gave like about a week's notice before the achievement contest. So how many practice games did you play? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we we played. How many did we play? Uh, two or Only two or three, I believe. Okay. Uh, so we had a lot of failed practice runs where we had a yeah. different strategy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We if you if you only count like completed runs, it was fairly low. But we had a lot of uh, we 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 sort of were debated like whether it was better to like if we got a bad start, is it better to like restart entirely, uh, which costs us a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in hopes of getting a better starting draw or just continue on and you know hope for the best and try to you know take advantage of the time that we've already put into this game because it is a like it, it it was a like the 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 time pressure was on right because right. we're trying to be yeah. the first one to to beat it after the update drops so yeah, so. yeah, if you could actually hover over the shields, we first wanted to try to beat this with the Ceaseless Ruin, which means sacrificing a hero. The thing mm -hmm. about it is you can get it completed insanely quickly if you get the right card the turn one. I'm not the Ceaseless Ruin. Oh, it's a Fusion of Pain. Yeah. The Fusion of Pain. That's what it yeah. is. This one can um, actually flip like on the first turn, which is kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. And so we were, we were thinking, do we just restart until we get a turn one of Fusion of Pain flip? Mm. And then just and then just go from there. <laughs> in, in terms of like what's like potentially the fastest, mm. um, and um, it turned. We ended up going for this strategy because we found it to be really volatile. And I think the break point was when we realized how long it took to set up a multiplayer game. Right. Like you could restart a single player game really really quickly, but restarting a multiplayer mm. game takes a lot of time. And we real we realized that's that's when we realized the strategy wasn't gonna work. <laughs> yeah. So I think that it definitely makes sense for like if you're trying to do like a classic speed run. And then, you know, like you get a whatever you can say, this is the one I'm counting or whatever. But it was a different kind of situation, right? Where it was like a global race. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I guess you didn't yeah. have, uh, weren't able to actually practice ultimate, but um, so I don't think we, did we show it on stream? So you knew what it was going to be, I think, right? But you didn't. Uh, we did not until the day of actually. Right. Um, <laughs> we were just ah. terrified, which is why we did a standard run first. Oh, okay, and right. And that went so smoothly. We're like, should we just try for ultimate? <laughs> and, we, and, and we looked at the requirements and we realized that our strategy was robust enough that it wouldn't be that affected by what they were, the new stuff that was added on. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and then, so that's what, or that's what, that was our like game plan. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jack. Yeah, no, that's, that's exactly right. Yeah. Cool. We so yeah. You to, finished that standard we, yeah. one really quick. Yeah. We wanted to, you know, get, is uh, nail down our, our Hall of Fame spot by getting the, the standard <laughs> one first. Um, but then after that, you know, why not go for go for the hardest one and yeah. get that old right on. Yeah. All right. Well, without it, it further did, ado, it, I guess. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Well, one more ado. Take, it did take it did take two runs. I think we we had to quit out of the first ultimate run because okay. it was so far gone. We right. got it. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's all of it. I'm supposed yeah, to... the advanced stuff on the Scions is pretty brutal sometimes. All right, so uh, let's get started. And so uh, we'll take guidance from from you two on on what to do, but uh, we'll generally just play and uh, talk about it. So, all right. Jeremy loves to deal damage. No. I'm not sure if you know about that. <laughs> that is a thing I do. <laughs> I see you. 
All right, what do we got? So uh, on your runs, you were playing this on like hold down tab the entire time, but we won't do that <laughs> necessarily. We might speed through some things because there's that's a lot completely of, fine. Uh, there's a lot then, of twisted uh, ether. <laughs> yeah. Void soul. Oh no, Voss. Ooh, temporal temporal fractures. That is a bad card to get early on, or ever. <laughs> I don't think we have any way to interact with the damage here, so I think we just choose for me and then call it a day. I think so. The big problem with this is our heroes are going to be split up, oh, which is rough. Oh, yeah, because Absolute Zero doesn't hit himself. Just the other heroes. The countdown going down. I guess like if you're going fast, then you just like ignore the countdown and <laughs> All go, right. go fast. So we have orchestrate the void. Were you like reshuffling the mission deck to try to get one you wanted, or was it just grab what you can? On your um run? generally it's in, it's better it's you see because you can swap you can like switch missions out. If you don't have a way to deal to like complete this, if you don't, if you're the other members of your team can't complete this, it's usually good to take it and then just swap it out next time because it removes it from the mission deck for every subsequent turn. Right. Right. Uh, mm, yeah. Yeah. You could shuffle um, and then the same ones on top again. <laughs> that can happen. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in this case, uh, as base visionary, do you have a way of getting other people to draw cards? It'll take me three turns to do it if I never use my power on myself. I think it might be better to skip and let Tachyon take this because she can complete it very efficiently. I I agree with that as well. Yeah, I get, you Otherwise, can trade it to her, but it will take a lot longer doing that, right? So, right, yeah, it'll take an entire turn, and that's missing out on five tokens. And I think I'm gonna greedily use this on myself to just draw towards. Right, you need to uh, get that <laughs> twist the ether. And her power is good for finding cards. The, the, that's uh, Team Leader Tachyon, known card giver, <laughs> is, yeah. Uh, yeah, is, very good. <laughs> is, is, is also a huge linchpin here. Yeah, it's kind of nice. five cards yeah. for one power. It's incredibly strong. It isn't necessarily think... bad to go in the second battle zone here because uh, Void Soul doesn't like it when we get rewards, so that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm thinking if I, is there any reason to move for the first? I think there is no. I don't think so. Yeah, you're giving many more people draws by staying in the second. No one with two health, so I'm just going to deal, do I want to deal two damage to fault this? Um, and I think, or one of the Aeon. Well, I, I That's a lot yeah. of Aeon men. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, need to figure yeah. out that. <laughs> I don't know that. Yeah, we can't really. We can maybe kill one of them if we work real hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any. Uh, that's rough. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit um, an Aeon Locus. Uh, Voss and Faultless both don't take damage. Yeah, the Aeon right Locus now. is the worst. So more Oblivion card plays is bad. Oh, but Legacy has a shot at Great Fortune. All right, so I'm not moving to the battle zone, right? <clears throat> yeah, I think you should stay with us. Yeah. All right, what do we got? Ooh. Great Fortune. At the end of your turn, you may select a card in your hand, shuffle your deck, and reveal top cards, reveal cards, and select a card share keyword. Play them both, then flip this card. Yeah. You should definitely sure. take this on, I yeah. think. Yeah. I'll take that. Bonus card All right, so I do have Legacy. a heroic set interception and a takedown um so i'm sort of ready to help with some things but i don't have a couple of the other things that i know you mentioned earlier so um i was thinking i would just bolster allies here does that seem reasonable yeah that sounds great. good to me <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry jack we can coordinate this somehow feel free to talk <laughs> over me talk over each other like you know yeah. act like we're actually sitting at the table it's no don't don't, mm. don't even worry about it <laughs> Uh, all right. You may either move an environment card in play to the bottom of the environment deck, or one player may play a card. So, obviously, not so much on the environment. Uh, who would like to play a card? 
I think you give that. I don't think I need to. to uh, I think you give that to benchmark or absolute zero. Oh, ben, um, absolute zero is another zero. battle zone. Oh yeah, you're right. So I'm guess I'm guessing benchmark because then you can get him to play his reinforced chases or a hardware or a software because you can draw a lot of cards off of software like yeah. destroying a pulp. Sure. Be it resolved. Ooh yeah, yeah the, the coolant is really good as a starter. Yeah, I've got lots of good options. I want. I think I want to get the chassis out probably on my turn so that because um, that there's a lot of one damages from Ian Man that he's going to end up being the highest. I guess he's all, basically almost the highest that's right good. now. So uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a really good observation. I didn't notice that. Yeah, onboard cooling is really nice for extra damage. That's actually maybe helps us get damage. <laughs> Uh, the worst thing we can see off of Leveon, just thinking ahead. Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah, first first you're just right. using a card. Um, right. You, um, Legacy's deck have a lot, has, is one-shots and ongoings. I, I think, yeah, I, I think the most common is ongoings, unless I'm mistaken. Two, two four, six. six. Yeah, it looks like ongoings. Yeah, yeah. They're Ongoing and limited ongoing. would also get the Legacy ring, though. Ooh, that's smart. Yeah, the fortitude. Yeah, that's, oh, that's yeah. what I was just thinking. Like, go, going for more keywords is usually a better choice uh, it's a one ah! <laughs> now if this was the speed run we could just re re rewind yeah. it Re never be wrong yeah, oh yeah. that's true you could rewind but it's up to you i mean i don't think we need to <laughs> yeah i let's play it let's play it straight <laughs> Sounds yeah, good. i i totally as a as a like race for challenge that totally makes sense yeah. that you would like yeah. bring super <laughs> you do it i do rewind and and take the right decision and stuff like that all right i don't like citizen storm but i'm gonna take them probably anyway I think I, th I think uh, I think it's worthwhile to take him. He does destroy um, an ongoing card. Does that affect? Oh us? wait, pushing the limits or demoralization. He really is annoying. <laughs> I he would I would not be opposed to shuffling this. I think you just shuffle here. Demoralization would be really good against the Aeon Men. Yeah. All right, we get the Traveler. Oh, and Nature's Bounty. That's perfect for Absolute Zero because he can try. He can get over here immediately. Nice. Sure. I mean, if we want it. Hey, it's a software right. card. What are the odds? Uh, can we kill another? Oh, interesting. I can also save anyone who's taking one damage as the lowest. I guess. Oh, faultless. Faultless. Why are you got to be advanced? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the other locus. Is probably I, I good. Just, I just, I, that was, that was, I'm sorry, that was a. No, I that think it's a, the thing is a, they do this thing where they heal the other Ann men, and if no one gets healed, then they play a card. So like trying to like at least spread some damage around is good that way. I don't know if you actually want to come over here. It's almost yeah, that's a good there. point. But you can go back uh, at the end of your turn with that reward if you want. It might be good to just start stacking that up then. Yeah, let me think. Where do I want to be at the end of this round? Uh. Probably with all the other heroes. Although mm. then I'll also be with all the Aeon men and Baltus and everyone. Mm. Can you deal two da can you deal uh two damage twice? Um no. let's see. Only to himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one fire and one cold. Um not this turn. Oh yeah, no, not this turn. Um Hmm. Yeah, this is probably fine, right? I want to start stacking tokens on nature's compulsion, so you could get it and still to end up to... in the other way, though. So yeah, I guess yeah, you want to go to battle zone one to that would stop a devastation token, so that's something. Yeah. Um, Unless you die, in which case you get a devastation token. <laughs> <laughs> Very I, fair, very fair. I, I think I think Apple Zero ending up in Zone One is probably the best because uh, he's at most he'll take like fifteen damage and that that's not irreparable. Yeah. So I'll skip uh, using a power this turn since I don't plan on dealing any damage. <laughs> on your on your first run for the achievement, did you lose any heroes or many? I I don't think we lost any on the first run. Our first run was so incredibly smooth. Cool. It was yeah. I think better. on the second one we lost Tachyon. Mm. Um, and yeah, well, ultimate is pretty tough to not lose any heroes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
We want to move Rain. Ooh, mission control. Away. Sorry. Mission control only for absolute zero. Hmm. Ouch. Oh, right. Uh, does Rainex how deal damage at the end of the turn? Yes. He's he going to do four damage to Absolute Zero. Faultless would do also four damage to Absolute Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute so... Zero is not having a fun time. Yeah, it sounds like he'll be taking damage either way. My intuition says we should move Rainex just because putting him away from the... Okay. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he'll actually, well, he'll, he'll, he damages the Scion as well. So that at least does something versus Faultless only attacks. Oh, you're right. And they it's are only like in both battle zones though right now, right? You've got Void Soul in one and Faultless in the other. Yeah. I guess it's also like, what do you want? Who do you want to be acting on battles on the second battle zone turn? <laughs> It will be one not the one that we move won't be doing that. That's true. I'm okay to move Voss. Yeah, I think so. I I I, I don't have a better reason than just yeah. a guess. Oh, and Void Soul is yeah, this is tough for us. It's zero. <laughs> this might be Yeah. Uh, we believe if oh oh my goodness. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. oh he just damaged based on the number of Ian men, and now Oblivion's going to destroy all those Ian men. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Okay. We got this. We can do it. Legacy. We have legacy. We're good. <laughs> yeah, we still got legacy. So this you is mean... going exactly the way it went for you. <laughs> just as planned. Just, 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 just planned. <laughs> all right, what's your backup? Another Absolute Zero. Uh, I'll just take uh, Absolute Zero, uh, part two. Freedom. I don't five. know about you, but I would recommend running away, but... <laughs> Yeah, I think <laughs> that's a good plan. We'll grab three inevitable destruction towners. Oh, craft service. That's that's uh good. This is gonna be a heck of an oblivion <laughs> turn if he stays there and destroys all the Xan men. Yeah. <laughs> um I think visionary taking the damage is okay, uh, because she's eventually gonna be No, he has minus damage. one, so it's no damage. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. The reinforced chase is Uh, and if you don't want... Oh, it's five damage. Brutal. Mm. It says it's three, but uh, does he have a plus? Oh, yeah. Increased damage dealt by this card by two. So five yeah. damage. Uh, I mean, it's only four to benchmark, and he heals a lot. So I think that's fine. Yeah, yeah I think a benchmark, I think that's okay. And yeah. it'll put him in a really good health that we can choose who takes damage from there on. Oh, I guess he took Nemesis bonus. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> we all have right. this card. Yeah, this is fine. Everything's on fire. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the fireman's coming in to save the, the dog. That Jeff is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at uh, the Twitch chat, Sparky Wolf. Mega F, indeed. Indeed, this is an F. Uh, yeah. Sucker Punch yeah. is not going to be that useful. Sparky Wolf, if you're going to wait to see what happens, you're never going to eat, so you might want to get a snack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please. <laughs> The, uh, drink water. Make sure your your posture is good. Yeah, it's, it's eight p.m. last Tuesday night, and, and you're you're wondering who won the election. Like, you got time. Yeah. <laughs> we're um, we're counting all the damage. Danger sense is probably exactly. the odd one out here. Uh, the nice thing about Thok is that you get to draw a card. The yeah. best three words in card games. <laughs> yeah, I think danger sense uh, is oh, the weak well, sister. Yeah, this is my thing. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Damage. Normally, I would say throw away auto targeting reticle protocol, and I still think it's the right thing to do. But the number of AM then is concerning. <laughs> yeah, there's way more than I, five I though. So, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. and uh, they're all gonna get destroyed on Oblivion's turn because he didn't move. He might move, I guess, in his play phase. He could. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone is going yeah, to I right. Think it's hard to predict. So this, I would say benchmark, uh, but there's the nemesis bonus, so maybe not. Uh, yeah, so it'll be the same, no matter yeah. who he hits. Absolute zero is at full um, health. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I think that works. Oh, man, that plus two. 
That's tough to pick Faultless first when he has that crazy I, advanced. He must disrupt space time. <laughs> oh no, this is the worst of yeah. both worlds. <laughs> Actually, it's okay. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, it is. It is the worst of both worlds. This is the worst card that could have been played. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, we. My well, can, my we typical strategy this. here is to like heal the or hit the things that heal when everything's like already at full. Yeah, I don't know if you guys do that too. This is fine. Yeah, yeah. we want to start by killing the Anthralls. Yeah. And then after that, we want to hit um, Nixius. The, Nix, yeah, all the or, all the Scions. Whatever the guy is, Void Soul Nixius. <laughs> Void Soul. Yeah, they they're in, the, in my head they're the same. It's I can never tell them apart. It's true. They're like the weird they have the darkness artwork, people. Like the, yeah, the <laughs> slinking shadow. Yeah, they're both sort of creepy. They're the creepy ones. <laughs> yeah. I was always uh terrified of uh dark uh dark dark mind. Yeah, she's pretty uh, like spooky scary story like messing with your and her history with the visionary and everything like dark visionary don't be pressing choose for me jerry <laughs> sorry uh, it's very easy for me to get outvoted in this game so <laughs> that's that's true plenty of people here <laughs> yeah and He's i mean boss is immune to damage so yeah yeah so it's um, a it's a locust now i think right yes i think so. we want we want Hit a card that stops this. Yeah, that makes him move right, <laughs> yeah. move sooner. Pending doom. Okay, uh, that, that, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I'm all. I, I'm always fine for him to play an ongoing <laughs> card. No, the thing like... is, he's gonna move to the battle zone now, and then <laughs> this is the thing. Another, yeah, another disrupt space time. Okay. No, is it? Mm. What? Void soul. <laughs> yeah. The space times oh, are boy. super disrupted. Yeah, void soul. I yeah. guess first. <laughs> void soul first. And then uh, I guess the other Aeon Locus, and then we hope to draw something that stops this madness. Nah, mm. uh, nope. He just ticks oh. down the countdown, and nothing else happens. So that's oh, great. No. Yeah. Now we hit Venture's for me, and then he comes over. Um, an impending doom will trigger next turn, I believe. Hopefully. It'll be on the on the side on the battle zone villain turn. Okay. But we can uh, probably destroy my... it. Yeah. Um, tach we have Tachyon and... Uh, uh, Mental see. Divergence can also destroy it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, visionary. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I think I'll stay here. Yeah, Tachyon doesn't have a card, but... Ooh. This might be a shuffle. This is... Rough. I mean, we can't... We don't actually want to complete this one <laughs> for a yeah, while. Yeah, this one... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, cause it, yeah. Oh, it only affects it? equipment cards though. So it doesn't actually affect visionary. Really? Yeah, like, we can't complete it. And the, the people who can complete it, we don't want their equipment to be targetable. Oh, <laughs> to, well, <laughs> to be able to yeah. the thing is it gives you a free card play at the end of your turn though, on this it's side. It's really good. No, it's quite good. Like for sure. It's uh, not free. It's, it's a like, discard. Yeah. yeah I guess. Yeah. 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 I don't know if you, I, I don't know if you want to wait for someone to take it or whatever, but yeah. We might take it on to sit in it. In the deck is the yeah other, is i agree it? with that yeah Cold War. Um, i like just keeping it for that discard a card to play a card effect <laughs> oh yeah Wait, that's actually a good point um i know that's really powerful with uh characters like specifically unity which is flavor 10 out of right. 10. <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so i guess the question is does anyone else have a means of dealing with impending doom no one does well there's okay. interception and stuff like legacy yeah. could legacy could face tank it <laughs> <laughs> that would be valid uh, but maybe we should destroy it <laughs> let's just let's just let's just get rid of it also the yeah. countdown going down to one and then it goes down to zero on like his second turn or whatever like is terrible it happens. <laughs> he's already played temporal fractures twice this is a lewd dolphin game <laughs> <laughs> oh prophetic vision that's not a good pull i mean it's okay not Great. Yeah. Oh no! What? Sorry, I was that doing was... that for Stark Wolf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, While he's cooking. Uh, see if he comes back. Cops department's not bad. Oh yeah, free Sorry, Sparky Wolf. 
<laughs> um, no, no love interest this game. Yeah. Good you know read on the good um, manipulation of the environment deck. That's that was a good choice. Tachyon would love to have that reward or that that mission as for the discard and draws. Just like, yeah, I'll take a free discard and play every turn. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I, yeah. I think I'm not it does. Move. It keeps you obviously from taking other objectives though, so it's not. It's more of a late late game play. We can deal. Do the, we? We can probably. Uh, this is Champion Studios. We don't. Mm, uh, shuffle. That's what I'm thinking. Because I'm finishing up Orchestrate. Right, yeah, yeah. You're going to want to finish up Orchestrate. Oh, and we back got... Well, I promise I won't call you back again unless something really important is <laughs> Um, I just want to... Uh, de dealing one damage is probably useful, but... Hmm. I want... Uh... So blinding speed is something I was going to note. Ooh, Fleet of Feats. There you go. Oh, and Hypersonic. Yes. Yeah. Those are good. That's, that's the one. Um, I don't need Restrict Grant. And Hypersonic Assault is really good. I am, But I don't actually think it's going to ever hit Faultless or Oblivion. I'm thinking that's the other one. Or Accelerated Assault. Yeah, Accelerated Assault is the way to go. Because it adds Burst. And then Fleet. And this is going to generate a lot of tokens. Yeah, you're going to get Orchestrate the Void already. This is one of my favorite favorite uh, objectives. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very good. Especially if you have, like, Arataki to protect it or something. Mm -hmm. Or the mm, whole legacy yeah. thing that we're going to do. Um, well, we'll try to do it. <laughs> yeah. Dart of Truth, thanks for the sub. Cheers. And uh, gifted a sub to you, Conway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you thank you um <laughs> welcome to the subscription I my different name, so I, I on, on switch so i appreciate the, I appreciate the gifts. um and then everyone else draws is our first reward i think it is yeah it's a fun token uh, so many cards isothermic Okay, and now we get the orchestrate virtuous. Oh yeah, more card draws. <laughs> this is Tachyon's turn is nuts. So many card draws. Yeah. Um, a lot of people like to compare Freedom Five Wraith to Tachyon because you can get a lot of concentrated mm. card draw with Freedom Five Wraith. But the thing yeah, that true. Freedom that that Team Leader Tachyon excels at is stuff like this, where it's just like three cards to everyone every turn. At the end of the turn, they're drawn. I wouldn't I wouldn't card. hate an inspiring presence, but I don't know if that's. We can do that. Um, and there's also can yeah. just start getting next evolution and stuff too, though. So yeah, I'm gonna give the draw to legacy, I think, or visionary. What do you think, Jack? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think giving it to legacy is a good call. Yeah, we didn't get twist the ether yet. So. Oh, I'm so sorry. We didn't it's, get twist the ether or I read, lead from the front. I read this wrong. I thought I picked another player to get exactly one card. I picked a player to play a card. Uh, which makes right. me look over at benchmark and absolute zero, or I guess legacy if you could. Yeah, uh, legacy playing card might be nice too. Human durability is quite good in this right in this situation. I'm 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 down for legacy. Um, next evolution. Yeah. Zone. So do we want me to start? Do we want me to start doing like superhuman durability, or should we like inspiring presence to start setting up for that? I'm open to whatever y'all think. <clears throat> Yeah, if you want um, to try to get moment... the defense, then we could do next evolution, but Inspiring yeah. Presence helps yeah. us. Yeah, deal I mean with I have problems. a lot of the cards in hand that we're trying to get, right? Like I got I've got my next evolution. Right? Aren't we working aren't we building to that? Yeah, yeah ideally ideally, yes. Um, um superhuman durability kinda of stands out to me as like something that might be useful, but I don't think we're gonna be taking five damage at once. Hopefully. Hmm. Um I think Inspiring Presence. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, Inspiring Presence is, is, is good. Nope, yeah. it's done. It's done. <laughs> it is not. It is voted. Not, um, you still get... Three of us voted, we've counted the votes, and that is what we're going to do. <laughs> no, no changing. Oh. It's just the way it is. <laughs> All right, are we... Uh, we can hit Faultless pretty hard here with Benchmark. Yeah. Because he has Nemesis boost. Or we could get rid of... Can you get rid of Aeon Locus? No. Okay. 
I can do th I can do three. Uh, do we then... deal one? Auto targeting of uh, protocol uh, to the rescue. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just I'm just thinking speculatively. I can get it back. Oh yeah, I, I drew one. Yeah. I, I, Aeon Locus is pretty rough if we if that procs again. Especially yeah, I'll behind. I'll ping the Aeon. We can ping the Aeon Locus and make sure we kill him. Hey, yeah. hit points. Yeah. Uh, the ver the he I I am of the opinion that the one of the best parts of Virtuosos of the Void is the two hit points. Health recovery is not common in Oblivion, and this is mm. this is good. This is good. I really like it. Lou Dolphin counted all the legal votes, which went to inspiring <laughs> presence. <laughs> thank you. Thank oh you, man, thank you, Dolphin. shattering blow on benchmark, please. You, on benchmark, skip. please. <laughs> please give this a benchmark. Okay, so so just skip this and let's take yeah. it. Yeah, just skip it. Skip because it. Yeah. Okay. with the with the fire yeah, the with difference. the missile pod, it is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Next evolution here is really really good. Um, but yeah. Next evolution. Is uh, yeah, good. I'm fine to set up for next evolution. Um, and then do did I? I'm trying to see what to uh, play for. If I'm looking at Legacy's power and thinking what might be good to play, Jack, do you have any good ideas? Right. Uh, let's see. You could have. Legacy play the other card we were thinking about him playing. Yeah. Mm. Next evolution, mm. human durability. Um, we could give it to Absolute Zero so that he could start getting his chases out. I, I call them chases. I mean, oh, yeah. Modules. His uh, modules. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, am, I, I am holding both uh, of his modules. So, yeah, that, that might be useful as well. So I can start sure. dealing damage. Uh, fun fact we considered, we, we, thought it was so valuable to quickly play those modules on absolute zero which it is that we considered running dark watch harpy uh just so that when she dies one of her incapacitated powers says play two equipment cards which is oh nice under. <laughs> or, uh, uh, if, you, if you select any of your ongoing limiteds I, I swear we're gonna get another one shot with our luck today <laughs> yeah i was gonna say so I, I feel like this is one of those like game theory moments where it's like okay it was one shot the last time but we picked <laughs> ongoing limited do you stay with ongoing limited or you switch <laughs> to one shot? And like, there's something like counterintuitive about whether it's true or not. I mean, right, you I'm can look at your deck and play durability. the odds. I'm, I, I, I like I'm that too. Hey! And we got it. Hey, nice. let's go. yeah, there it is. The most the play. And then we all get to play more cards. Great fortune. Yes. You break. Hooray! Oh my gosh, you got Hurricane Interception. So that's oh, happening. Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't know if this is good, but it's happening. We'll take it. All right, do we want to? Do we care about the order here, or should I just choose for me? I think choose for Actually, me. Actually, Interception yeah. is good here because uh, we are taking the 20 Irreducible from above Ion. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's, so, that's, yeah, that's really actually good. very good. The order could matter, but I don't know if it does, so. Uh, we only get to play ongoing, so I'm trying to think of what. Ongoing I'm... or limited. Oh, that's true. Good point. Good point. Good point. Ah, yes. If we can um... get a power, can we get a power to Legacy, to so, so that he can become immune to Infernal or whatever the damage type is of that? We have play a card only. I don't think we, we can get the power. We don't have Ally Matrix. Uh, is the other one. All right. I so mean... wait. Um, I played. A heroic interception, or I played what? What got played? Her heroic um, interception heroic was going to be played. It hasn't gotten played yet. Yeah, so surge of strength will make you hit yourself harder, which is okay, I guess. Take down, <laughs> you'll take some damage, a lot of damage from Oblivion, actually. So you might not want to play that either. <laughs> but you have to pick something. So yeah, I, don't know that I, would... I would pick surge I think of strength. I, but I think I think um, yeah, third surge of strength is because you're going right. to take like right. seven damage from Oblivion if you play takedown this turn. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna play load on a knit so that I get to draw more cards yeah. and maybe find something to let Legacy not die. <laughs> and we can actually kill two of these. Uh, yeah. With the onboard cooling systems. Yeah. Oh, I, I love this. I, this is my favorite. This is one of my favorite hardware. I can shoot absolute zero as well. Oh, but I won't. Do we, does he I'll... have? Do they have? Um... I'll, I'll do it when you actually would benefit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not quite yet. Sub zero. I don't know if that's good in Oblivion mode. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Oh man! And I will say this: of all <laughs> of the learning that I ever did about Absolute Zero, I never figured out how to use this card effectively. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I, was I use good it at Absolute Zero. I wouldn't say I was John level, but I was pretty good at Absolute <laughs> Zero, and I never figured out how to use that uh, Sub Zero atmosphere. I use it, yeah. but I don't know if it's. I've never played it in Oblivion mode because it's terrifying. 
Um, <laughs> it is a little yeah. bit, yeah. Let's. Uh... Um, one quick note. Um, Jack had to turn off his camera really quickly, and he's not appearing back on stream. I don't know oh. if something you can finagle with. Yeah, and I two, think if that happens, I oh, need sorry. to go back to click on Discord, and then it refreshes. It's weird. Also, oh, this is my favorite card ever. I love Sub Zero Atmosphere. I love this so oh, much. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Um, I how to use it? I don't know. I just love the art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what uh, start nice. of turn effects would we be? Generally, uh, it's really it's it's dangerous start. whenever they play they would play cards at the end of the turn because then that means that those card plays happen at the end of the turn, which means the end of turns like it doesn't let, skip anything. Yeah. The point yeah, of it is that like, like right, yeah, yeah. So and also most of and met. Most of Blevion's cards are like one shots and not end of turn stuff. So Font of Power is the one that comes up, um, right? Uh, as the end of turn effect that lets him play an extra villain, like an extra Blevion card. Yeah, um, we could try I, it if you want to see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, <laughs> break game. You can't test. You can't say no to setback. Or, <laughs> can't oh. say no to that. Can't. Say, yeah. How can I? How can I turn Lucky Breakdown? Hey, superhuman durability on. coming in hot there with the minus. That actually playing surge of strength got you reduced damage by increasing your damage. <laughs> um, hmm. yeah, I don't. Well, we're immune to damage here, right? And we're not immune to damage in the first battle zone, so I think we stay. We stay and End face the music. This arm. Okay. Um, so, yeah. What do I got? Two hardwares. I'm gonna. Well, okay. I can actually. I can do this. Play the other load on a knit. And draw more cards. Oh. And I can get more mileage out of the uh, cooling system. I love Benchmark. He has so many silly things. You, you know yeah. what? Um... We're going to destroy this one that destroys cards. So then we can do this again. Perfect. Uh, but whatever. If I play another one, I lose it. So I'm just going to draw here, I think. I don't, yeah. Uh, you know, Rev yeah. Corp would say that benchmark just works. And mm -hmm. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. So we're still really looking for an ally matrix, right? So I'm going to overhaul. Those aren't ally matrix. Um, that comes back. Nice. Everything comes back. Uh, that comes out again. Probably the chassis. I don't actually need it this round, though. Interesting. You could throw the secondary cannon down, uh, and just it, it'll it, it'll help ping. All That's true. Three. And once the shattering blow is going to be in effect next turn, right? So it's going to be very strong. Yeah. Okay, I have two more. Uh, intervening path is not doing anything right now, but it will once legacy becomes the lowest. So I'm mm. gonna play it. Mm. Yeah, because like he's that. going and to then... become the lowest. So <laughs> I love this uh, interaction with coolant system where you can play it before as a result of overhaul loadout, and then get the power, the, the extra damage again if you throw a software down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, I guess the question is, low. I guess I'm going to throw out the hardware just to, because we're not getting what we need, so I'll throw out the hardware anyways, in case I get I just... too much software. More Ooh. hardware. Upgrade, upgrade a memory unit. That's very good. I like this one a lot. I'm sorry. I like so much about this. I'm going to say I like everything, but I actually yeah. do really <laughs> like upgrade a memory unit. That is totally fine. <laughs> Spreading more joy is always acceptable. All right, end of turn. This is memory unit. Yeah, play a software card if I wish. And yeah, now I want to play load on init. Excellent. We didn't get what we want, so Legacy is going to take that, like, Legacy will survive, right? He'll have, like, three health or something, maybe. If, mm -hmm. if we actually get Legacy down to be the lowest hero... Benchmark can save him from the t big damage. If we want to, like, actually just attack Legacy for a bit, I don't know if we want to do yeah, that. Yeah, Legacy had so many cards in play, it would really be a shame for him to die. Is there um, any way we can Yeah, I mean, if that's, what, if that's what works, Legacy's game to take it. Yeah. Actually, and I, mean, I, I had... Take what? 
six, five. He has to damage? get down to twenty-two. I actually had extra damage I didn't use. Uh, oh. We could actually use your incapacitated power to allow Benchmark to search again for Allah and help, but then you can't draw a power for it. Might be yeah. good to do it anyway, because infusion of power is kind of hard to accomplish sometimes. We we also need to recognize we need to be finishing these objectives if we want to flip these things. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, whether I would I would probably either take it or shuffle just to get through past the even where I'm gonna get it. If we take it, we can try to engineer a system where Absolute Zero is alone with, like, Visionary or something next turn. Yeah, let's see what we can do. I'll play my other module. Pilot Light, go. But you're immune to damage. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Heroic Interception. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. All right, the first battle zone is going wild. Yeah, heroic interception, great for heroes like uh, uh, Lifeline or Stuntman uh, in terms of dealing damage, right? Because you avoid their self damage, but not so good for absolute zero. Um, uh, I guess one of the... the front desk is probably the worst one. Uh, Fire Chamber, I guess, but probably the front uh, desk. I would be concerned about Caspit's Playground in almost any other scenario. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that I'm actually go. works wonders with Omni Unity. Like, yes. <laughs> oh. yeah. Elemental pandemonium. If only there was people to be pandemonium. Oh wow! Pan Boss is smashing scions. But here goes our environment. Well, not yet. We have a second battle zone oh yeah props department i forgot that was coming up yeah but it doesn't it's not getting anything no totally one wished. shots oh uh. i think this is choose for me I, I i'm trying to think if there's any uh well i get heroic interceptions and make everything immune and then surge of strength uh yeah, yeah this is, this is, this is just... so he's mm -hmm. all hit legacy yeah legacies yeah we should have hit legacy <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually no yeah choose legacy like we need in order for legacy to survive we need to have legacy get damaged more that's an interesting uh conundrum <laughs> yeah but is he low enough he's 22 he's perfect all right oh, excellent uh -huh. that's what we needed exactly my plan the Terrible whole time. Burden. all right oh and... no I'm gonna destroy someone. <laughs> okay, nice. okay well that's he's gonna good. hit uh faultless for us Yes. So now legacy, uh, yeah, intervening path like says there's no damage. So I like this. I'm into it. Anytime you have legacy and someone else who can redirect, it's like, yeah, combo. I, um, yeah. One of the more fun achievements was the uh, base achievements was the redirect damage five times. Mm, yeah. Mm, oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's I actually remember when I tested and and successfully pulled that off. I, it was way back in I think it was might have been early 2015, but it also might have been late 2014. But I remember specifically testing that achievement, and it was super fun to set up. All I right. think the environment we go for is the temple. <laughs> that sounds fun though. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure so resurrection ritual is not working. Just FYI, but uh... that's fine don't plan on using that oh yeah so legacy is not taking damage so that's nice we can actually yeah. choose, choose for me <laughs> otherwise we'd have to pick everyone except legacy and then legacy oh my yes i'd say yes <laughs> i remember the first time we played oh man oblivion. more scions i remember the first time we played oblivion we we're like we're doing it so well we're just he's destroying everyone and then we lose and we like had, we were so far gone we yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Run out of environments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. All right, it's a target-rich right. environment in both battle zones. You need, I think we swap this out. Just we we need to start completing these environments. We're all, we're really yeah. close, actually. I'm wondering oh. if I can complete this one. Oh no, I'm Did probably you? not. Probably not at this point. You've no yeah. Opinion, right? Or... Yeah, yeah. I I was thinking of uh, Caspis Playground, but yeah. Uh -oh. Um. Oh, yeah. Last. You could do it if you switch battle zones. <laughs> yeah. You actually could. Oh, my goodness. Um, give And then we give Hermetic to Legacy, so he never dies. 
No, no, no. We give her medic to Tachyon because we can complete it immediately. Yeah, the we reward like for it. this this objective is amazing. Probably okay. one of the best rewards in the game. Yeah. Uh, I'd be fine to swap out those so we get it sooner. Like, there's a tempo mm -hmm. a tempo advantage too. Yeah, I think we're yeah. kind of a bit behind time wise. So I would encourage giving it to like as the the first person we can. If you can finish the digital age, and we know we, um, Tachyon can finish her medic evolved on her turn. Um, okay. She can just do it. In that case, uh, would you mind going back so that I can yeah. actually swap to the first battle zone at the start of my turn? Sure. That sounds good. I, I, Oblivion mode loves it when you do this. It, it, <laughs> when, you, yeah. when you when you go back, it's just a, it's a pain, not a painful process. I imagine there's so many moving parts. I can't. <laughs> yeah, there's oh, yeah. so many. <laughs> there's really weirdness about how start of turn and end of turn things happen. That's why it has to go back to like just before. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone, uh, Wolf and Dolphin are, are just saying uh, Rip Mint, and, and, and mm -hmm. yes, indeed, Rip Mint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually remember, I, again, talking, going back to remembering old things. I remember the meeting we had when it was like, oh, wait, now we have to have, there's start of turn and end of turn. Now we have to have a pre-start of turn and a post-end of turn <laughs> game phase, or else we're just not going to be able to figure out how this yeah. all works. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, twist so the ether. Ether. You, ether. But it's on the wrong battle zone. You can't put it on Oblivion. You can put it on boss, yeah. I guess. <laughs> I, yeah. I think you just mm. keep it revealed. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, I don't. That, I feel like you don't play it. Like, you, you, you put it in the trash. I, I need. I need to. Oh, let's see. Discard a card. card to. Yeah. To complete the objective, though. Oh wait! It is an. It's an equipment card. Right, so yes, you want to, you want to skip. So oh, I guess either way, if you discard an equipment card, right. So you could discard an equipment to play an equipment, and that's okay. Right, but if I skip, uh, you still get it. I won't skip the objective, right? No, you will, because uh, you discarded the equipment yeah. card because it was revealed in its equipment. Yeah, you're discarding the equipment. Oh, otherwise, I discard the reveal card. Yeah. Got it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I guess it's probably better to play it than to not, though, right? Throw it on Rainek, and then we can One other card in my deck. If you yeah. draw on Rainac, we can actually control his damage. Yeah, it's we not just... going to be ideal, but it'll be fine. If we can't yeah. find the other one, we can destroy it and then bring it back, right? So that's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think I'll discard like Mass Levitation. And yeah, then that makes sense. Play it on Rainac. And then also, Twist the Ether is going to dam deal damage to things because that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. Actually, no, it's only cards in this play area. Yeah, each target, so it's not, it won't work. There's so many keywords on these cards now, it's like tiny print. <laughs> <laughs> um, the nice thing about Void Soul Flipping is he's going to die when he's flipped, and which is a better reward. Mm. Um, but he's minus two, so you can't actually hit him. But you can clean up a bunch I of can't actually damage him. Yeah, I guess we hit the Locust first. Yeah, you can just keep pinging yep it's like all these ongoing cards are dealing damage it's funny the concern is yeah. twist the ether uh, being well I, I guess this won't be a concern soon because we're probably going to lose uh, a, an objective uh or no a not objective a environment but twist the ether being destroyed as a result of having five health is mm. scary <laughs> uh we're not gonna move but it's okay because we have mental divergence can get it back from the trash so good point good point mm. Um, I will take the two damage because I need three plays this turn, and I am going to unload. You can't on take two damage. <laughs> Heroic oh. interception. Hermetic Unlucky. also can't hurt us, so you don't have to get it. You don't have to get it this turn because he can't actually hurt us. So I I want to complete it just to get the objective. Sure. So we can oh, that's true. Target. Is that going to get us the shield right away? So yeah, then we can actually maybe uh, get yeah. shattering blow. That would be cool. I have three plays now. And I think um, I still I might only have two. Uh, but that will that it'll be enough because of heroic interception. I'm just going to do double lightspeed barrage. We'll get these back. I'm not worried. And now Tachyon will never die. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about Bloodstone is if if Tachyon actually dies, the next hero can pick it up and use it again. I love the oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oblivion left, so he he's there with Twist the Ether. One turn too late. It's too bad. Um, yeah. That is okay. Um, five or more damage in the single turn. I forget exactly how we can do that. Um, uh, Legacy can do it with Flying Smash and Thok and Ooh. Motivational Charge, I think. Or 
I don't know if he can do all of it, but he has a lot of damage in his hand, actually. Yeah, what is that? It's reduced by two, right? Yeah, it's reduced by two. Uh, increased by Inspiring Presence, but... Yeah, I... I have Tactical Communicator, so I can select a target. The next damage to that target is irreducible, increased by two, so I can set up for Absolute Zero to do it mm. with, like, one big fire damage. I got another Lightspeed Barrage. If you can give me a play, we can do it as well. You're in the but wrong battle we're, we're not in the... Yeah, wrong battle zone. Uh, play a card. So many play? cards. <laughs> it's like, what's happening? <laughs> uh, giving yeah. a bench card to play is never bad. Um, well, we want to we want to make sure to set up for being able to do the damage. That's true. And so, um, if you give me an overhaul, I can get tactical communicator set up. That's one way to do it. Um, or absolute hmm. zero could get focused apertures, which is also helpful. Yeah. What do you think? Jeff. Um. Yeah, I think tactical communicator is probably the easiest way to go. Uh, and I'll just yeah. set up focus apertures on my turn. Okay. I think that's a good. That's a good. Okay. So I have two softwares, four hardware. I can kill the. Well, I want to do overhaul loadout because then I get to do damage. So. <laughs> mm. <laughs> damage is good. And damage. I got the ally matrix. Oh, and there's the ally well. matrix. And multi point HUD. Those are multi point HUD is very good. Actually, uh, I can good, yeah. I can oh. do it on my turn. I think now. Oh, even better. I, I like damage, though. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, uh, damage is, a, is something I do like. <laughs> of the things I do like, damage is squarely, squarely in that Venn diagram. <laughs> yep. I was doing an idiocracy reference. I just watched that with my my, do my oldest daughter the other night. <laughs> it seemed like an apropos choice of things to watch. <laughs> um, a very. Uh, I like me... damage, though. Do you want me to kill an Aeon Man? <laughs> um... I'm thinking of hitting sanction is like efficient. I I, I would true. I would kill the vassal for sure though. I would kill the vassal for sure. And up to, other than that, it's up to you. Yeah, yeah, it's tokens. So yeah, avoid the counters. Fallis is so close too. So yeah. Oh man, I feel like he's gonna die naturally. And you see, you don't want to be the one to kill, or at least in my experience, I don't. I rarely want to be the one that kills Fallis because then like like Oblivion does something. Right. Yeah, let Oblivion do it. Yeah. Yeah. Damage, okay. When is damage a bad thing? It's when you're hurting yourself. You right. have to deal with the dark mind and void soul and everyone that's telling you to deal damage to your teammates. Damage is bad. All right, but we don't need intervening yeah, path right now, but I can. Uh, damage bad. I can get it back if needed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think it's really funny. <laughs> damage good. That that is what we've determined. <laughs> yeah. uh, deal. What's the deal? Wait, damage. I see damage. More damage. Wait, Love to see um, it. I think Legacy does the most. I know. Oh, yeah, actually, can I change my play? I know it's annoying yeah. because a lot of no, stuff happened. Fine. Absolutely. I want it. I can. I have two powers, so I can use Shunt Energy and the other mm -hmm. thing to uh, to do it. I guess they're not too far back. Yeah, no worries. Overhaul. I might end up playing the same cards because I forgot what my card did. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, the number of times I think we we messed up a reset that yeah. was like really really long, like twice. Yeah, <laughs> right. Because actually, <laughs> it was pretty bad. I can we play software with before, this, yeah. which is what I need to do. So actually, I'm gonna keep loading the net. But I want sh these these two cards. Basically, I can use this power, and then I can use this power, and that that, that does enough damage to Oblivion to get rid of the shield. Like just doing that. So. Uh, so let's do that, and we'll do this again. So I can't see your screen. So when you say I can use this power and then this Sorry. power, I'm not so, actually saying. Uh, I can, I can <laughs> it doesn't really matter because I'm the least strategic of us, but I'm just saying. I can basically make the next damage to Oblivion irreducible and increased by two, and then deal four damage to Oblivion is what I would do. Oh, so. Yeah. Uh, is this benchmark again? I guess. Or no, this is Legacy. No, this is Legacy because he has Surge of Strength. Right. So I thought he would do the most. Yeah, I, I mean, if well, you want to just wail on Sanction, who's getting low, you could do that. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, and then we all heal. My favorite Everyone's at max HP almost. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we should, we really, now we want to wager. Now we want to wager. And now uh, Tachyon now gets play. to discard burst cards. Yep. We play, pay the Bloodstone tax, which is wonderful. 
Tachyon's happy to do that. Um, so, all right, I assume I'm staying here, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, so. I mean, you don't... Yeah, I guess uh, if we want to have three heroes here for... Where are we? How many Scions are there and stuff, right? If you want to not add three tokens. Three and two. Um, and Visionary is already in the first. If, yeah, if, if, if you let Absolute Zero switch and everyone else stays here, we can complete Infusion of Power. Oh, yeah. but no, Benchmark has to switch to hit Oblivion. So. Oh, to hit Oblivion. Oh. Right, right, right. Oh, so, so then I, if you do switch, I can complete Infusion of Power by staying in the second that's battle. Smart. That's smart, yeah. <laughs> Legacy should move then. Because then we can complete We do it. add okay. three tokens, just so you know, if we do that, though. In the... yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, um, I'm just... I, uh, uh, Infusion of Power is good, I think. Oh, we got Last Wager, yeah. too. Oh, lots of full health people. <laughs> That doesn't work anymore. Oh, you have. Uh, yeah, you have to choose a target that is uh, not at full HP if there is one. Yeah, yeah it yeah, only works if that. if all the targets are at full. Oh, okay. Mm. Good to know. Yeah. Um. All right. Um. Fortitude. I think Fortitude is good here. Actually, or you could actually, Flying Smash could kill the Aeon Thrall. And mm. damage. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at. Was can I clear out mm. some, like make clear some Aeon men? The warrior hit yeah, points the a little bit. Or... Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot, actually. That's really good. Yeah, kill two Aeon men. Oh, you oh, do my. five damage. It's <laughs> great. <Oof. laughs> yeah, that's actually great. three times. Yeah. Could... Yeah, you could actually you could just go through the impenetrable frame yourself with that and. Motivational charge if you wanted to. That's true, yeah. <laughs> like Yeah, actually Why don't you just do that? Yeah, just do it. Yeah, let's just... do that. I agree. Legacy carry hard carry. <laughs> <laughs> or wait, can I just do it now or did Yeah. 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 If you, right. you okay. do this I and then you do motivational charge. Well either motivational charge or play thock. Like well, either one yeah. works, so Um Yeah, I mean if I can help my teammates out at the same that's time that's what legacy I like do that's a good choice so yeah mm. yep very, hey, very with the point. countdown at one we did it <laughs> just in time uh, that's perfect <laughs> you know the legacy is always on time oh man legion core processor i am happy to <laughs> yeah see legacy that. is never early nor is he late he arrives exactly <laughs> okay um this all right is so fine. here's where twist the ether gets destroyed yeah this is fine oh yeah that's funny mm -hmm. And all of your other, all of your other ongoing cards. Hits, right? <laughs> um, well, you may as well take the decoy projection. Yeah. Save. Save damage on myself. I think everything else is getting destroyed, though. Yeah. Well, we needed Omni Unity to get that token, so. Dolphin, they made a really good explanation. Oh man, Void Soul is healing so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he, oh my goodness, every time he It's fine. <laughs> yeah, Lou Dolphin's explanation. You can read that out. It's like oh, yeah. uh, oh, basically yeah. he well wants to do is the thing so that he does the thing when the thing happens so that the other things can can't happen after that one thing goes to play. And then he can use the thing later. Yeah. And I think that's a move. It's a good summary. <laughs> okay. Hey, um, so you can't play Inspiring Presence again, but you can play the another nice thing you can, play, you can play environments. I mean, I equipments, if you want, which is also all ongoing. Yeah, let's see. Is there any rest of the mind target I would want to hit here? I can't hit the Scions or a Blue Band, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll just get out. None of the Ian men do that much damage, just two. Two is the most they ever do. If you're just joining us, we are trying to hmm? beat uh, Ultimate Oblivion this evening. At this point, we have we're an hour and nine minutes in. We have lost one hero. We made a second zero, page. Who's been replaced by himself? A second episode zero, and we have flipped Leon to page two. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're all equipment cards. That's wild. <laughs> Discard um, to draw. I think I don't know. Um, this is I don't player two. Um, it's pretty low odds yeah. of getting two one shots here, but it's worth like at least filtering through cards you don't want. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it helps us look for cards at the very least. And we, these are the two characters where we need specific yeah. cards, so it's really good that we actually like. It's just helpful. 
Oh, okay. that, that is a useful card, too. Totally it's quite good, yeah. Yeah. Once you get Twisted right. Ether on the right a... guy. <laughs> yeah, it might not be as useful if it has five hit points and can just get destroyed. So I'm thinking of just coming over and doing uh, 12 damage to Oblivion, if that's okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think that works. I think that works. Um, we want to keep Shattering Blow because... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah that, 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 we want to keep it... Uh, we don't have to keep it on him, but I think we probably do. We'd really want yeah. to keep it on Benchmark. Do you want me no to keep characters. the Red Menace or <laughs> shuffle like... it? Um, um, Red Menace um, is, the is actually cards good. Hand guy. I would give that to Absolute Zero if you can. Yeah. I think oh, but you have Infernal Infusion of Power. Uh, I, yeah. I think you shuffle, and then we hope we get it. Yeah, so. no, it's it's not the Cold Damage guy. It's the Cards in Hand guy, which we do have lots of Cards in Hand often, but... All right, we'll shuffle. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's a T-Rex uh, spot, so yeah, that's a good shuffle. Ooh, that's really good. That's really, really good, because we can get ah, rid yeah. of our ongoings uh, for... Oh, wait, never mind. They all died. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Like, so oh, now people. we've got fun stuff. I can play a software card here. I wish I had I wish I had the Legion Core now because I'd have another power right now, which would be fun. Uh, do I have another of those? No. All right, let's make sure I do this right. So I think multi point HUD is. I also typed in the chat go. for the first time. Hello, everyone. I meant to say hi in chat earlier, but sadly no. <laughs> I think I have enough damage, just sort of playing naively because I have Nemesis against Oblivion and stuff too. Mm. But uh, let's play a software card. I definitely want Shunt Energy at some point. Oh look, five damage. Oh, and cold damage is increased by one. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice. uh, you could hit Aeon Vassal and just, oh, yeah. no, I'm sorry. No, no, I, I thought you had five. I can't just, it was five because Nemesis, but I'll still hit the That's Vassal because right. I don't like him. Mm, neither do I. All my homies <laughs> hate, hate Vassal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's nine damage to Oblivion. Oh, nice. Whoops. No, I think that is that is one I was considering that. Um, uh, it's actually better than using Tactical Communicator, I think. But I do want to play Legion yeah. for a processor. And I don't have um, another way many, to play can it. You get 12, can you get to 12 without a problem right now? How many yeah, I can get, I can just get it with shunt energy, so I don't actually need to play multi point. Yes. I'll play it next turn. Yeah. I can play at the start of my turn, so it'll all be fine. The other question <laughs> that Jack asked is, an, is a good one. How many hardware? Oh yeah, I, I was looking at the hardware cards left in your deck. Uh, so you oh, have yeah. a one in three chance of getting missiles with deployment yeah. actuation. Well, I, I want them eventually. Would be great to have. Yeah, I want the missiles next turn, anyways. So that's great. Yeah. yeah. Because that's gonna be oh, that's gonna I'm at, be the. I'm at full health, so I don't need to heal. Let's do this. Shunt energy, right? Oh, do you have two powers? Yeah. Am I? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm just behind. Mm. Yeah, I've I got a lot going on. It's okay. Yeah. Benchmark Gober is. <laughs> yeah. There's shattering Five blow damage. on okay. my first. I love it. On my I first power. Amazing, and now you've got the oblivion shard. So I've never actually got the Oblivion Shard on Benchmark. Or I oh, I it's it amazing on Benchmark. It is ideal. This is ideal. Yeah. This like, is I'm ideal. doing, I'm discarding a card for three damage now, and it's going to be, like, plus four or plus six or whatever the tokens are by then, so. Ooh. Yeah. This. So this is the other small thing. When you can intentionally, with the kind of, if we had had the setup where, like, where, where Oblivion did no damage, we would get to a point where we could choose to artificially increase the inevitable destruction counter to increase the amount of damage the Aeon yeah. Shard increases our damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. So now the question is, I can move and help beat down Oblivion yeah. a little bit or Indeed. stay here and complete this objective. Uh, probably staying <laughs> is fine because I, I would also be... Uh, uh, preventing ca devastation counters from... No, you won't because board. Legacy moved. Oh right. There's there, um, that won't happen. Yeah. So it's um, going to be three in this zone and none in the other. Sort of either way. We also want to consider. We do want the inevitable destruction counter to get high. I like, mean, to some degree. 
I guess there, there is a chance that on the Scion, first Zion Scion turn, they might send yeah, true. another Scion yeah. or whatever, but I don't know if that affects anything, actually. So, um, Let me look at Infusion of Power really quick. Um, Infusion of I, Power is good. It's, it is. It is very good, yeah. It saves a lot of damage. Okay, I think I will stay in the second battle zone then to complete it. Okay. And we'll skip this. Well, you can use it in cap. Oh, yeah, right. Um, give a play to give two play to Tachyon. Um, I would throw out Synaptic Interruption. Oh, yeah, because Voss is going to be hitting you for, like, yeah, a lot. Oh, no, oh, Voss is in the other battle zone. But anyways, someone's going to be. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some damage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There'll be something. I'm not worried. <laughs> um, All right, so I'll give Tachyon a play then. The nice thing is it's a burst, so getting it into the... Uh, can you get 54 Devastation tokens? Uh, uh, I, the highest I've gotten was like 28, I think. I, I am going to do a stream sometime where I try to get to the highest number, and the, there's a way to do that. Uh, not the... I mean, the highest number, but uh, Advanced Imperion, uh, I believe on the flip side, whenever a card is destroyed, yeah. adds a token. So, like... Bring like idealist. Bring like anyone who just destroys lots of cards, of their own mm. cards and stuff, and you can rack up those tokens like nobody's business. So, <laughs> uh, maybe hit sanction here. Yeah, the other option would be healing itself. Uh, the thing about sanction is we get the the uh, rest of the mind back if we kill her. Is yeah. Well, if it's in, yeah, if it's in the, uh, happens to be in the zone at the time, it's not right now. I have hit Oblivion with a maxed out um, Omni Cannon, which is to say his entire deck. <laughs> so the cards in his hand, it's, it was it on the stream too. Uh, and that, it, it, it was, it was surprisingly effective when buffed four or five times. Uh, don't, don't, don't ask. Oh, you'll want to talk to Lou Dolphin and Zach and other let down about Omni Cannon. Omni Cannon is- They had like 200 cards future. under Omni Cannon once. Oh my goodness. It's the way of the future. Omni Cannon is the way of the future. It, and it actually works well in Oblivion. I was saying because uh, earlier that it um, Oblivion Keto doesn't destroy uh, ongoings very well. So Yeah. Well, and I guess also, like, you can start charging up in the first phase when you don't want to hit him anyways, right? So yeah. yeah. You got some time. Training Simulator is not good. I guess that's going to be Eon Men. Um, I'm curious if there's anything we can do. Are we getting another whiff? No, we got flyby. Awesome. Wait. Didn't mission control? Oh no! Oh no! Mission control doesn't like one shots. It was the other card that that, that was the thing. I actually don't know how to order this one. Uh, I don't um, think it matters. Probably. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it matters. Because nothing's dying and nothing's reacting, so decoy pre-ejection is the only thing that I can yeah. But it was of. it wasn't changing. Yeah, it, it wouldn't have gone destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Forsuke, I think is how I pronounce your name. Is uh, uh yeah, that's legendary. One shot <laughs> shotting a cash. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Nice. Void soul destroys <clears throat> an ongoing. Uh, I don't need tactical communicator anymore, so mm -hmm. I'm happy to lose it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's good too. I like motivational charge, just as like reality altered. Ooh. Don't mind losing yeah. training simulator. Not at all. And cryo chamber is like mostly hitting us now, unless you do want to get rid of the playground because it is causing problems for you. Um, uh, I think the playground's pretty bad, like bad here. I like it as an it's it's like quite good in a lot of situations, yeah. but I think we got the yeah. Problem. I think I I think we don't want it now though. Yeah, because it's just making uh, twist the ether and other yeah. cards vulnerable. All right, Most who ones. is taking um, three infernal damage each? Benchmark has reduction, so I have a decoy projection. Oh, that's true. Um, it would also hit Omni Unity though, if you care. Maybe you don't care because Omni Unity is not doing anything really. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's not doing anything at this point. So I, I think I'm fine with that. Yeah, and, and Visionary is, I think, our least "quote unquote" valuable right now because she just she's just not really. Like, yeah, I just need to find the yeah twist the aether. All right, I don't even need to. It would be useful. But... All right, mm -hmm. this is Omni Unity dealing the damage, so we should pick Omni Unity first and not choose for me if oh, we did that. You're right. 
<laughs> yeah. Never press choose for me unless you're sure in oblivion mode. <laughs> Good point. Good point. I am dense. It's all right. It's easy to... I think Void Souls is weird because it's it's not Void Soul doing the damage in this case, but it is in the other case. So need to confirm, but don't feel bad, that gentlemen. You haven't gotten you haven't gotten the official. What did you do? From John? <laughs> <laughs> ouch, Voss. That was that was ouch. Okay. We need to be looking at Benchmark's health. He, we need to make sure that he. <clears throat> uh, yeah, well, Legacy needs lead from the front, so we can just, like, redirect it. <laughs> yeah. I guess we could do Heroic uh, Interception if we wanted to. Visionary's got a lot of health. So. Yeah. But Benchmark's uh, going to be at plus nine damage to him in a second, so. Yeah, I'm concerned. <laughs> I think we could, like, if we play Heroic this turn, Legacy still takes the damage so we don't add the tokens, right? So we might consider that. That's smart. Yeah, that's the uh, uh, yeah, great. countermeasures is not happening. That's a, I think countermeasures is very underrated and all against a lot of villains. No, oh, no, it's it's pretty good actually. It would, it works on all these Ian men if they happen to be around, but they're they're not. Yeah. <laughs> Master of the temple. Um, oh, the temple is like killing all the Ian men. It's hitting faultless too, but he's taking zero. Yeah. Uh, let me make sure that we shouldn't press choose for me. Yeah, I don't um, think anything happens here. It actually is good because uh, Oblivion won't kill Aeon Men. Oh, right, but actually, things do happen, so maybe don't choose for me because. <laughs> <laughs> when Master of the Temple, when this destroys a target, it uh, it's not like a huge deal, probably. It's just like a little. We could have done a little more optimization on damage. I don't mm -hmm. think we need to rewind. Mm -hmm. We don't probably need to rewind. Probably doesn't super matter. But whenever the true form destroys a target, it plays the top card of the environment deck. So, right. I for I forgot about that. That's not an oblivion thing. Oh yeah, so. Nixies is gonna flip, right? Uh, as well. Hmm. I think this is okay. I'm now incredibly <laughs> anxious. Like, this every one's single okay. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is since uh, there's enough votes to over override me, I don't think I'm going to be clicking on any choose for me for the rest of the game. <laughs> I'll just let you all. Think <laughs> That's <it>. fair. <laughs> I think we hit tachyon, and then I can synaptic interruption and throw it at. I guess oblivion. Hmm. I kind of want to hit nixius or sanction. Um. I guess we yeah, do need some bonus damage. Uh. It's faultless is the one dealing the damage, so sanction and oblivion are both. Uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, hitting Oblivion is how we win, but... Also, Oblivion's <laughs> taking out an environment now. There's That's some, true. Something out of the bunch of tokens, I don't know what, but... Was it... Oh, because um, Nix, Nixius got hit, maybe? I don't know what happened exactly. If we, we can... No, yeah. we can't kill Nixius as well. I'm so, actually, so Sanction and Nixius are dead, and Faultless is yeah. dead. So, uh, yeah. just hit Oblivion, right? Like, everything's dead. Unless you uh, want to... Yeah. yeah, the environment's <laughs> Uh, this is a good environment too. That's um, that's not that's rough. Five virtuosos, we appreciated you. Um, discard a card. Oh, absolute zeros are dead too. I think mm -hmm. apex of humanity. Do you have? Uh, no. This is all happening at the start of turn because of <laughs> absolute zeros. Yeah. <laughs> And Nixius moved, flipped to move to the other battle zone. Relentless Hunter. These are happening at the start of turn. Orgy Wolf is on the last leg of the cooking. Okay. I wanted to make sure everyone was up to date. Oh, so the start of a turn effects are happening first, so he's damaging everyone and then <laughs> yeah. floating. Huh. Oh, actually, is that always the end? Uh, this is... I've, I haven't had Sub-Zero Atmosphere. All right, and so time. here is Oblivion's end of turn damage, right? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's going to kill Aeon Warrior, which is yeah. going to hurt. That's hitting Absolute Zero, who isn't going to yeah. die from it, but it's going to hurt. And then you're going to die from the from the other stuff. So. Yeah, all cool. the other stuff. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. say this is for me with the exception of Shinobi Assassin. You could choose Tachyon to take the reaction from Aeon Warrior if we hit Absolute Zero first. I don't know if you want uh, that. I think 
Mm. So, so, so we want that because we want Tachyon to die and Bloodstone to trigger, right? Uh. Oh, right. That means that means Absol Zero would survive the explosion. Okay. Oh wait, no, no, no. no Absol Zero doesn't four, heal that much. It's six, no, right? yeah. Yeah, it's not enough. Healing. And you know what's best? Uh, since Sub Zero Atmosphere is gonna go away, he's gonna do this at the end of turn again. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, what's, give me one second. I want to read what's uh, max HP. Uh, is there a way to kill Tachyon? Wait, actually, no. What we do is we don't trigger Bloodstone now. We trigger it during the 20 damage. And yeah. then Absolute Zero is healed by six. No, so that's still I... not enough. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's going to be enough. My head. Yeah, so hit Absolute Zero first. Yeah, I mean, we, it's tied, so we can choose for the Aeon Warrior which one we want, like, right now. So neither of them die right now. Yeah, so they're I guess, both going to die at the... Yeah, time. we may as well pick Tachyon. That leaves Absolute Zero for a, for a hot second with more hit points. <laughs> <laughs> or a cold second. And a, a, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait. Now she's... She is getting hit here. We, uh, Dart yeah. of Truth. I actually um, we have the uh, the uh, infection achievement. And yeah, I'm we sure actually we need to that. not do. We need to go back because she's taking. Yeah, we need to not. We need to hit yeah. uh, absolute zero. We do that. actually need yeah. to hit absolute zero. I did the math wrong. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we may as well hit the AMR first, so that has no decision. And right, because because she was choose, yeah right? she was lower. And now, choose for me is probably fine. Shinobi probably. can go. Probably. <laughs> if Shinobi Jeez. goes on to Absolute Zero's deck, then it will go back to the environment trash if we want. Or you could put it on Tachyon's uh -huh. deck if you want it to, like... I guess everyone's... No, yeah, because Tachyon's not dying, probably, right? So... Uh, Bloodstone means yeah. she's not going to die. The thing that... M okay, yeah. Here it is. Marion... Uh... The Primalis might be pretty is can has a few key cards that are bad, like the Pterodactyl. I say bad, but in the sense of potentially yeah, it does have the plus one damages though, which are nice. Yeah, yeah that's true. Nice. Yep. We just wanna I think our our goal now is to just try to blitz this as fast as possible. We need to deal uh three hundred and ninety <laughs> damage. That's where that's the benchmark right. I mean, yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> All right, so tacky I guess we can do the scions, I guess, if you want. Actually, we need to do it in order because we want yeah. uh, every time we, so we, we kill a scion, oh, yeah. oh, we reduce a new person. Yeah, so I, I would say yeah. hit Tachyon first. So we basically add our tokens first and then remove them after. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because even though Benchmark has the shard, it's probably better to have less tokens yeah, overall. Yeah, <laughs> that's 100% Unless you're going to win immediately as a result of it, it's probably yeah. not good to have. Um, we should probably... We should... Yeah, choose for me. And Faultless, the new Faultless is, is a new t target and now is going to die, right? No, he's not a new target. He's the same target. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, Tachyon and Absolute Zero. Um, shouldn't be Absolute Zero. <laughs> that's a small bug, yeah. but not a big deal. Hey, you can I'm get, your, you can get your Bloodstone blood back. <laughs> I of nice. these cards, I wonder which is most effective. What are what are the two cards you're gonna take back? I wonder. Uh, Bloodstone and maybe Virtuoso of the Void, but I could take a <laughs> I could take a Sucker Punch instead. Hmm? <laughs> Abyss stairs back. I I gotta say I really like Abyss stairs back. It's very cool. Not like its effect, but the art. <laughs> oh no no, it's effect. I like it. Okay. It's like. I, I it, like the risk of interacting with the villain mm. deck is really cool. I like that. It's like a thing. Oh right, yeah, I, that, yeah. That part yeah. of it. Yeah, I think choose oh, for me is okay here. For me, we choose. <laughs> we choose for us, and then he's gonna do his five damage. Actually, he would have done this anyways, be, even if Absolute Zero lived, right? Because Sub Zero Atmosphere is only in the other battle zone. Yeah, because he moved. Yeah. <laughs> That's maybe a dangerous oh. card to play in above Van mode, I guess. Yeah. It was fun to try out, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we did it. I'm, 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 I, I like the. So results. choose durability first. Always durability first. Ouch. Uh, I believe in benchmark. Yeah, I'm okay with the heroic interception this round if that's available. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Um, for replacing Absolute Zero, I don't think Absolute Zero has enough time to set up. Yeah, I... Do I, I, you want to go with the Jack special and take your action hero stun then? Sure, let's do it. Let's He's do pretty it. sweet. Yes. Uh, the, one of the first characters Jack ever showed me was Stun Man, and mm. I didn't understand how this game worked at all, and it just he was just <laughs> doing stuff, I thought he was like a, a, a magician. Yeah, <laughs> so Stun Man is great. Yeah. He's, he's also a great flavor win. Yeah. yeah. I think we that probably is wanna... definitely how I feel when John plays Stun Man in yeah. a game that, with, that I'm with him. He's like, oh, I'm just going to do this, I'm going to plunk a vu, and then I'm going to, you know, cook a cut, and I'm going to, I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the character that I that I really like that functions like that is La Commodora. I, I've yet to find a person who understands how she how she functions, and mm. I love it. I, I actually really like her. She's one of my favorite heroes. Mm. Mm. Well, there must mm. be because there uh, the reason why there's a, that card that like lets you basically rearrange your start of turn yes. order. Oh, yes. is, okay. Yeah, because a play tester really wanted that, and so they put it in. <laughs> basically, <laughs> so, so find so that play good. tester yeah. and ask them about it. <laughs> chip shape, chip shape is so good. Chip shape is it's amazing. Uh, yeah, amazing. the magic you can do with chip shape is insane. So can uh, we get to T Rex spot? Oh, benchmark. Yeah, let's see. So we need. Uh, so uh, I mean, visionary doesn't have any. I mean, we benchmark. Could, benchmark yeah. stuff is the benchmark only thing. and uh, stuntman are both here, and we can we can do it if we want. Oh, that's true. Also, Tachyon can throw away uh, HUD goggles, so I can add one right. to them. Oh, yeah. Or I can you, add two here. You can have got two HUD goggles. Uh, but I um, I really want to be able to play yeah. both Bloodstone and Virtuosos. Yeah, you should just discard so, uh, the HUD goggles, but not destroy it. Oh, you didn't... You did, oh, yeah, no, we got to stay in battles on one. That's right. Let me see. So, Oh, I can't. Why telekinetic cocoon still have five hit points? I might just want to cocoon up until I... Oh, I think my... that might be that. I don't think it really has five hit points. Maybe it does. It still does when you pull it up. <laughs> that there's yeah, a bug been okay. reported about that. So I think that might be a real bug. So, uh oh. I don't believe you. No, it's never mind. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, Lacomodor is wonderful. I played her uh, a lot in the random Oblivion runs, and when I was doing a set of one of the achievements. Uh, I had to get the Curse of the Black Pearl, and I had to learn how to play her, and I loved, and that was so much fun. Do you remember that, Jack? I remember yeah, yeah. You, like, oh, it's, there's so much cool stuff you can do with it. All right, so, so Tachyon. Oh, Tachyon's not here. Uh, I realized that too late. <laughs> so Stuntman could we discard one. Yeah, Benchmark has one in hand, and I could destroy three hardwares. So I don't know if... Maybe we do that next round and not this round. <laughs> I feel like that's a, like a bit too committal. Like we yeah. don't have. I can do way more than nine damage by keeping my equipment. So yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. So let's wait on this. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go back to the faultless being in the second. Uh <laughs> yeah, I know he's there by himself with Imperion, but I think we should oh, okay. just focus up Oblivion. Yes, I yeah. totally agree. Ooh, Perfect. time and time again. This is great, great. The Chronoist. Yeah, okay. that's such a good reward. Yes, and it's very, so very easy good. to get. Um. Okay, so I can play two cards. Uh, mm -hmm. Virtuoso is the Void and they must. I'm actually thinking of holding up on Bloodstone. Uh, so I don't yeah, because that pass. only works on you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And I would have to die. Um. Which is unlikely at this mo at this juncture. You're one um, short of killing Nixius with one shot, which is too bad. Yeah. Um, the issue is uh, Virtuous of the Void gives, us, gives me two damage, so I could do it. Right. That, I mean, it gives us one token, which is okay. It, gets, it lets us flip an objective for free, so we get building a king right away. Like, we get whatever else yeah. happens to be. Uh, time and time again, we can complete without a problem, so... Yeah, actually, um, we could. If you want to hit him for the nine now, and then we like. Want, do we want to flip the true hero in the end? Is the next question. Well, what we can get like, it for free by waiting and hitting Nixius once everyone has an objective in their play area. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. everyone. You're right, you're right, you're right. So I should just hit. I'm so sorry. I'm. I'm there's, I would hit I, Nixius. I, hit Nixius with the light speed, but don't kill okay. him on your turn. Basically. Like, get him ready. He's at one health. <laughs> no one's doing uncontrolled effective. area damage. Oh, did he, have, did he kick you to the battle zone? 
What happened there? Did that what that happens? Whenever a hero deals damage to this card, oh, that's the advanced, advanced effect. <laughs> oh boy, that's okay, okay though, uh, right? You can still get time and time again on your own. <laughs> so, uh, but Tachyon is no longer in the first. That's okay. I, that's th fine. That seems <laughs> fine. fine. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> I like the idea of Tachyon moving at the speed of light and suddenly just like, oh, I'm here now. And it's just yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just like it's like pre the prehistoric time. Whoever uh, kills Nixius won't be subject to that effect because he's been destroyed. So, I don't need to. I don't need to. Yeah, oh, I don't. should. I should. Do I need to? No, you have just... seventeen, so yeah. <laughs> you're already good. <laughs> I'll... Chronoist, I can play Bloodstone if I want it. I'm gonna throw Synaptic Interruption down. Sure. Just in case. And you can just beat up an Empyreon. Yep. Perfect. Or or um, set up yeah. more. Nimble Strike. Boom. Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's what he does. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, Faultless takes more damage on this side, too. Rude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rude. And Advanced. then we have Faultless. Is it? It's not every time. It's the first time in the turn? Yeah, yeah it's the first time. time. They're Nemesis, so I'm going to have Faultless hit uh, Empyrean. Oh, oh they're mind. not. Yeah, he's oh. Captain Cosmic Nemesis on this side. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want to stay here because you want inspiring stay presence here. on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. And heroic interception, I think. Yeah, I would swap out. Yeah, Last do I want crap? Yeah, yeah I was gonna <laughs> say. I feel like swapping this feels like the yeah. right choice. Yeah, we can like load up on the best ones, and then stuntman can just be like flick Nixius, and we get all okay. the objectives. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, we have Sizz and Storm, though, so maybe we I kill him early. <laughs> um, heroic Interception is going to be important here, for sure. Yeah, I yeah. definitely think that's a good idea. <laughs> and it's only... And it's, take down from third phase, it's reduced, yeah. so... Yeah, only, oh, good point. It's only point one there. damage for that, even with your plus yeah, two. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take that for sure. Um, all right. who's Everybody's here except for Tachyon. Um, do we, um, does should I heal come? everybody and deal some damage or should I? I'm okay um, with that, I guess. I um, unless like stuntman wants to set up, play like training montage. We could give, we could give a, that's true. We could also give benchmark uh, a play for deployment actuation and fish for infernal missile pods. You have a 50, 50. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So then I could play something else on my turn as well. So. Sure. All right, so benchmark play. That sounds good to me, yeah. All right. Cross your fingers and coin flip. Oh, nice. Infernal Missile Pod Let's was go. at the end of that big text block. That's what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and I won a hardware for my trash. The one that heals me. No, the one that plays more hardware. That's nice. Then I'll, yeah. Oh, we get to play one shots. Oh, that's actually really, really good. Uh, that's a choose for me. Visionary can't play cards. You could play another uh, copy of Thok. I th yeah. Um, uh, throw uh, it, it punch oblivion. I think that's, that's the yeah. Way to go. Punch yeah. oblivion yeah. or yeah. void soul if you want, but probably oblivion. Yeah. I will have uh, enough like. I'll have enough spare, like, damage instances to kill Void Soul by accident, so. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. You didn't take damage this way, so you can't draw more cards, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, um, I apologize, apologies if I'm pronouncing this wrong, Planky Vu is quite good against uh, environment destruction. Yeah, so yeah. we can skip this, because we're going to get this for free. Planky Vu would be the Plank right, but you can also say, like, Lance Flammies, and that's totally fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> big fan of the Lance Flammies. All right, Saves and Storm coming back. Like Lance Flammies. Yeah, Lance Flammies. Yeah. Lance okay. Flammies. The on shard tax. Lance Flammies. That's right. Just adding to your card, so this is perfect. All right, is Legacy is not the lowest, so I can't really protect him here. Yeah, but I'll hang on to that, and yeah, that can go into Missile Pod. <laughs> all of it. Let it all go into Missile Pod. Every, Ally Matrix is going to be really good if you can play it. That's true. Here. Also, auto targeting. Uh, lots of really good stuff this turn. Yeah. All 
Nine damage. This is where I'm saying I can hit Void Soul on accident, basically. So, yeah. so I'm thinking I kill Nixius this turn because um, I don't. Well, I guess Citizen Storm is going to go after someone who's immune to damage and destroy an ongoing. You will also, so it's not a big no, deal. You, will you also move to the nether battle zone? No, because he's no. destroyed. It will like mm. once it's destroyed, all the other text doesn't apply anymore. So. Yeah, I think getting Nixius now is fine because I'll probably reclaim. Uh, yeah, you're not going to be going for Red Menace, so. Yeah. Okay, so I don't need to take Nixius with this damage, so let's hit Void Soul. Because I have that. Oh, yes, I would like to use a power. I would like yeah, to increase my damage great. by one. And then secondary cannon triggers. <laughs> yeah, <bench. laughs> this is all very lovely. Nice. Benchmark's popping off. Benchmark go burn. <laughs> Eight plus four. This is gonna be All right. This actually play a card now. <laughs> the, the best part about this is we, we have um, takedown, which is the most important card yes. in, turn, in phase three. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, I have three cards on my deck. I should see what they are. So I could play the top Fair card. Rev, Rev, Rev Corp agrees. Hmm? <laughs> I'm responding to Blue Dolphin. I think I'm <laughs> gonna I'm gonna take the top deck. It was Intel Analyzer, sure. All right, I'm gonna give up the intervening path for now. Intel Analyzer does represent two more missiles. That's true, but this represents clearing the field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And getting that reward, so. Not totally clear in the field, but Void Soul will get his turn. All right. I guess choose for me is okay. Building a king. And then Brother Sacrifice and Citizen Storm. All good things. Yeah. Yeah, that Brother Sacrifice is like, I love it. <clears throat> All right. It's usually really painful to. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I'll, I'll get, I'll get yeah, Ally Matrix yeah. back soon enough. You get it? Can you hit? Can you kill Void Soul? No, the minus two. So close. Uh, I could be. Well, I'm trying to think of you what shouldn't... else I have left in my turn. Yeah, uh, you don't want to use like missile pods on Void Soul for sure. No, definitely. Void Soul is like don't super care about him. It's just like I had lots of incidental damage for him. Uh, it's going to be hard to kill him with the minus two now. Because I can hit him for four here. He'll be at two, but with the minus two, someone needs to hit him. Like, And then Storm can get him down to... Oh no, Storm will kill him with Inspiring Presence. So maybe we just oh, do, do that. Oh, let's, yeah. just, let's just kill him. Good point, yeah. My damage, is, my damage is reduced when I kill the... the the scions so <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> nice oh no cryo chamber is reducing my damage <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be destroying the cryo chamber i think mm -hmm. oh wait i was going uh, to be but i'm gonna do this instead oh yeah so storm also gets the shard i forgot that so oh Need interesting to... That's a cool interaction. Yeah, it's all targets in your play area, so. I get more hit points. The nice thing about phase two is you don't, the scions don't immediately refresh. Uh, so we have a bit of space now. Nice. I'm gonna be at full HP soon. It's gonna be great. That's wonderful. Yes, put it in the pod. We should start giving Benchmark powers right now, if we can. Yeah, yeah. Benchmark is doing work right now. Uh, I think I'll read. Big ups to Baconator4579 for spreading the infection love. Over. Oh. That's a great sentence. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever said that sentence before. In these you're, trying you're times. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, our slash new sentences isn't that a subreddit? A brand new sentence, yeah. Brand yeah, new sentence. Yeah. <laughs> brand new sentence, yeah. Uh, I discovered. Oh, I discovered r slash tv too high today. 
it's TVs what? that are too up what too high. <laughs> Interesting. That's an each one. <laughs> I don't know why people put their TVs up too high, but sometimes they do. Hey, free cards. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. moving target. Oh, and Benchmark has no zero cards in his deck, so it didn't happen for him. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. This is okay. <laughs> Immune to damage. Uh. And, All oh, right. yeah, because of moving target, you get to do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cat, um, let's cat. See. We care about entry point. What is it covering up? Oh, it's covering up cryo chamber, right. Uh, we like mission control, so... If you want to blow up the entry point, that's no problem at all, I think. Yeah, but. that's probably reasonable. Seven you damage. Casually deal seven. You don't even casually. have any... You don't, it's like, do you have the shard? <laughs> <laughs> What's an Oblivion shard? <laughs> he, he's... <laughs> He's, don't he have, has a submachine gun full of Oblivion shards. I don't think we have any redirects. <laughs> T-Rex bot. Oh, he's immune so. to damage, so you can't even hit him. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. All right, here's... Uh... Oh, right, the Relentless Hunter thing made Voss. Yeah, Voss is coming over here to hit you. So you might want to skip because Voss is also going to do his. Oh no, his yeah. actually his his end of turn damage is smaller than this. So yeah, there are only uh, two tokens now. I think I'm gonna hit Imperial. No, Imperial. Then Imperial is gonna redirect. Imperial uh, just hits everything for one, me. but it does hit Faultless a lot. So I don't know. I'm just gonna skip. I feel like this is gonna be something. You'll probably have something else teased it on, right? Yeah, probably. I'm sure. Um, oh, it's the thief. Oh, and it's actually, Voss, Voss didn't get to go for whatever reason there, I guess so. Oh, no, because it's not his turn yet. Now it's his turn. Yeah. Right. The thief is there, but we, we will have probably... We one left? Uh, yeah, yeah. We actually... Oh, this, we have... We can lose one more, and then we can no longer lose any. Yeah. So we right, gotta okay. be really careful. Um, yeah. Boar. Uh, this, I think this is a choose for me. I'm making sure that yeah. there's not a... Faultless is going to die is soon, almost, though. <laughs> yeah. Almost, yeah. Uh, probably going to die as a result of other people. Hey, you get to draw a card. Good job. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll use I've up definitely power. only gotten, like, bonuses from Faultless, like, less than half of the Oblivion games where yeah. Faultless has come out. Mm. Often he just gets murdered without you getting a benefit. Yeah. Hey, you got a light speed. Who barrage. designed so Benefit terrible. is very good though. Would Tachyon like to discard a card? Sure. That would be weird. Uh, I, I'm going. Wait, I I do actually want to. Yeah. <laughs> actually. Yeah. I think I'm gonna just wait. The damage kill the thief gone up. Or Oblivion. Oh yeah. How is a how is Oblivion here? Uh, he terrible burden moves him to this. Oh, area. he moved. Yeah, just hit Oblivion, right? Mm. Yeah. And you could either give a token to Boar or have Imperion hit and well, also Boar give a token has... to Boar anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Boar's yeah, going to get a token either way. Maisel does a Boar. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a really good point. Ooh, now this tired. is rough for Tachyon to be here all alone against <laughs> all this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, she has a bloodstone somewhere in her hand. Uh, <laughs> Boar has increased damage, so we don't want him to be the one to do this, right? Yeah, good point. Uh, this is a choose. You must destroy a non-character card. Only one? I'm going to throw away the HUD goggles. I think that's the least valuable. <laughs> well, the thief was probably going to take it anyways later, so... <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah. That we're okay, probably... global devastation. All right. Uh, Ooh, boy. global devastation. All right. Is there any way we can? Oh, teleconnect cocoon is a target. Um, uh, so... We have heroic interception though. Yeah. So yeah, we're all so... okay in the first battle in battle zone, but faultless is dead. It looks like. Uh, the hell. Yeah. I'm just gonna actually now that we're seeing this, I'm gonna send a quick beta report, which is why is why is it still a target? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> 
I believe in Pachyon. I do too, Frenzied Havoc. I do too. Yeah, Omni Unity is in the trash. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm just going to put this so as a reminder. Seems like it shouldn't be anymore. I think it's an interaction between Omni Unity and uh, Caspit's Playground that is the problem. Hmm. Mm. Let me. Um, I selected choose for me, but um, yeah, don't I'm be just, like me, kid. I'm don't just be like me, kid. Report. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to rush you. I'm trying to give a life lesson to everyone mm -hmm. in the chat. Don't be like, a, don't be like me. <laughs> it's like oh, and it's then like the report didn't me. even work, so okay, whatever. Oh. I'll try to remember it. Uh, are we here to choose for me? It's probably okay. Faultless is dead. Um, the third actual thief. I think the third actual thief first is the only thing I can think of. I it's think it's gonna die anyway. It's, yeah, because uh, of Imperium. Global devastation. So. Oh, and also that. So, but it's gonna actually get killed by uh, Imperion. Yeah. Okay. Well, not Imperion, but Im there's gonna be five damage to it basically. So. Over the yeah, event over the course of this. And Faultless goes. Have a good night, Take Walker. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, see you, Take Walker. I feel like have we, a good night, Take Walker. If we can keep Benchmark <laughs> alive and Stuntman alive, we're doing pretty good. And Legacy. Yeah. <laughs> Legacy is the and one that's keeping them target. alive. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm in the... Oh, I'm actually in the wrong battle zone now. Yeah, we all are. Uh, it's only Tachyon so there holding the fort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tachyon fighting all the Scions and Oblivion just appears in the oh, sky. Right. You, <laughs> She's you, like, oh, right. You, <laughs> you still get to do that, even though it was from the other battle zone. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. And right, this destroys environment cards. Fight mission yep, control, we love you. Destroyed. And yeah, this is taking out the rest of Tachyon's cards. I guess you should have kept the HUD goggles. I guess I should have kept the HUD goggles. <laughs> I mean you didn't you didn't know that he was gonna play this, but <laughs> uh, Jack, very important question has been asked of you in chat. How many mm -hmm. digits of pi do you know? I know fifty one, uh, but Jack <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I used to know about 50. I think mm. now I probably know 40. I think I'm good for yeah, five or six, exactly. maybe, on a good day. I know, like, <laughs> yeah, five or six on a good day. Yeah. Uh, when I was, like, uh, ha uh, when I was like learning about Pi for the first time, I thought it would be really funny to learn as many as I could. And so I did that in my math class. But 140, that's insane. That's amazing. Wow. That's yeah. Really cool. wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, even... yeah. I'm looking one four one five two nine was what I would have. That's what I thought I knew, and then I looked and I checked. I did there's, not know. The there's no five, two so. right there. Oh, there's no two. It's a yeah, one. It, nine two. <laughs> yeah. One four one five nine, nine two. two. Six, five. Yep. Sorry, I had them flipped. Yeah. Yep. So I, I usually had... remember just one four one five nine because that's usually what it is as a constant in computer yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's honestly that's more that's than enough. you need for yeah. for most things. I mean, yeah, yeah, engineers would say you just need three, but they're 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 heathens. Whoa, Lou Dolphin <laughs> up to two hundred and fifty digits when I was bored in high school computer class? My goodness. Wasn't wow. it like I hard. Iowa declared in their legislature that Pi is three or something once? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> engineers around the world rejoice. Oh man. Yeah. Circles have started to change their shape into strange formations. <laughs> I know the uh, 0582 uh, section. As an engineer, three works in most tolerances. It works. <laughs> yep. All right, so that it works. hit Imperion <laughs> first so that Imperion hits the Red Menace. Before, uh, yeah, do you want to not choose for me? Jack, uh, what did you just do? Oh, no. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's, let's go back. see. Yeah, yeah, because of Imperion, you can actually make Imperion hit him first. Imperion's <laughs> gonna gonna do some work for us. Yeah. And actually, in T Rex bot's gonna go like, yeah, a lot is gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stuff. Let's let's play this through. So it, Imperion is now dealing one to everything. And your <laughs> well, card exactly. still your demolarization still has health. It's so weird. I guess it's just permanently that way, probably. Yeah. The game just never uh, so made it not a target. Right. Uh, I think I, uh, I think to note though, Jack, you have been graced with the, the, <laughs> what, 
Exactly. You can say that to you now. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, for that, yeah. Uh, Choose for me is okay now. Yeah, that's only the first time. That's only the first yeah. time, though. So, okay. I will not click on the choose for me. Huh? That's fair. I have decided that <laughs> I will not be the one who does that. This Let's see. Time. Just double checking. Yeah. Because this already all happens. Yeah. Anything that okay, doesn't say cool. first time is usually changed once we find the infinite loop. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so I think for my turn, I will just get uh, mm. Twist Aether back. And maybe we have an in cap that lets you play it. Oh, but yeah, you get to draw it. So, yeah. Looks like it's still going to have uh, be a target with five points. That's true. Myself. That made this a wrinkle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, do you hit the... Uh, I think you should have Levam. Like, we... Unless we can kill so, Boar yeah. while Hurricane Interception Dealing a lot of damage is, to Boar is, is still on. Too. That's but true. it won't be. But we do have Brother Sacrifice, so we could just like blow up Boar and then like Brother yeah, Sacrifice we kind if of we wanted to. Ignore Boar, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna hit Oblivion. Yeah, that's that's fair. Very fair. Um, and T-Rex Bot's gonna go off, but I don't think it's gonna cause any difference in terms of what happens. Yeah, because I'm it's not no longer the first time. Period. Yeah. Everything's the person. Tachyon's like, finally, there's help. <laughs> uh, and I think I stay in the second battle zone. You might, might want your bloodstone, bloodstone now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. Oh no. Rip. That would um, only hmm. be true if you went to the other battle zone. You could get that, but I don't know. If uh, not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah. I mean, it's so good. I mean, it's probably worth it, but um, I'm okay with this. Actually, and, uh, on it is true because of all of, tech of Visionary's things that are not supposed to be turrets. Oh, oh wait, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually... <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know if it's true, but it's super close. It's exactly tied because of that, yeah. Um, there, are, <laughs> there has to be more. What it if... Is... <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to hmm. take it. I'm gonna take it to thin the deck, and then we can give it to somebody else if needed. Yeah, or just get it like on your next turn, or yeah, we can always yeah. trade it, right? So, and you are yes, it is lightning reflexes. It's hud goggles, lightning reflexes, bloodstone hud goggles, uh, mm -hmm. bloodstone lightspeed barrage. I think. I appreciate all the help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just clicking on things. No, Don't no, worry no, about no, me. No, 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 no. I apologize. I didn't mean it in a passive aggressive way. Uh, <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> I'm just I'm in that that phase of the evening. It's like it's yeah. eight fifty eight. Like I'm just clicking on random things to be funny. <laughs> it is it is quite funny. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um Oh yeah, you can uh, do you can pull the same trick if you hit Imperion, then he'll hit the red menace and the red menace hits Imperion. I like this. I like this. And then and we I'll get the T-Rex spot. Yeah. Yeah. Every and then Imperion ends up almost flipping, I think. Or maybe he does flip. Maybe not yeah, quite. Just... He's close. Uh, or gets a token, a but we have brother sacrifice for boys. I clicked on the choose for me. It's okay, we survived. This, we got through it. These ones are okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw all the votes going that way, and I just, I just followed like a sheep. <laughs> what you should do is you should incorporate, um, like I don't know, uh, one of the bombs from like uh, keep talking and nobody explodes, and you have to complete that before everyone choose, because like choose for me. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna hit the or right we now. could just implement like rank choice voting, where every time any choice comes up, you have to rank all the options by the way that you would want them to go. <laughs> instant runoff voting. Come into Sentinels. Yeah, there's an instant runoff. <laughs> instant. I don't vote for anything. <laughs> hey, fleet of foot. That's really good. Um, Bloodstone tax, hypersonic assault. I'm thinking of keeping hug goggles. Because if we get a, if we get like one of like mm. filter highest or something, or is, no, that's filter highest is the wrong one. There's one, yeah. there's some that interact with equipment. I might be thinking of Omni Unities. Yeah, the Chekhov hair dryer is one, or T Rex spot we already got. Yeah. There's... I'm just gonna throw the one shot away. Yeah. I think the answer is yes, because we yeah. wanted to stay together. You want to move? Uh, yes, right. Okay. Yep. That makes okay. sense. 
All right. Oh. Uh, the Man of the Gods, in your return, release five cards. We're destroyed this turn. Flip this card. If not, you may move to another hero's play area. You may as well take uh, it. Yeah. You stun man. Yeah. Know. Actually, He's take it, and it would be lovely if you could give it to Benchmark, but you can't. Because mm -hmm. the card is being destroyed from ah. under the Missile Pod count. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Really good. Oh, Wait, also, so do you just want me to just also not take it and let you take it? Uh, I guess that's possible. I don't have anything right now. Uh, um, it's what's the other one coming up? Play the top two cards of the environment deck. War torn landscape. Yeah, I mean, if you, we're probably not really gonna worry about that one, right? So, yeah, maybe skipping is better then. All right. Also, we need to be really yeah. careful about yeah. Imperion. Because whenever, on his flip side, once he flips, he's almost about to flip. Uh, whenever we destroy a card, he adds a token to the card. Yeah. Which is a... Yeah. Be, with Benchmark, the same thing special. can be a lot. Yeah, he only has 10 health, so we should... Or 15. And so Benchmark might want to aim his missile pods. No, 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 no. That's, I could... Uh, it's fire damage, right? I could take out Empyreon. Yeah. That might be a good thing, actually. All right, so do we want me to take down here? Mm. Um, because it's either that or just, you know. Problem with take down is that Oblivion's not going to be here anymore. He leaves when we when he goes to the next page. Yeah. yeah. I think we save those for, like, for phase three and boss. And sure. Just complete I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I think so, too. That's, no That's fine. I just... And you got your danger sense, finally. Yay. Um, Indeed. If you want to give a play, that was only, I guess it would be, no. I, I I think you motivational charge and hit. You could play Twist yeah, the Aether on Oblivion, right? Motivational charge and everyone can heal up a bit. We could play Twist the Aether here. Oh, and just get it, start getting, us, uh, <laughs> getting our getting our engine set up in quotes. Yeah. <laughs> our engine point, with yeah. a five hit point card that we need to protect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. Good point, good point, good Especially point. with Boar. Boar is gonna explode eventually. Yeah. Let's <laughs> just uh, punch something. I think we don't actually we don't actually have the piece we need from Legacy, right? So it's not um, yeah. probably worth putting could, that out yet. Yeah. We lead from the fronts left in the deck. Right, so what you're saying is, live on with this and heal everybody a bit. Sure. Oh, can you? Hear that's what it sounds like. Ooh, wait. Yeah, Red. sounds like a plan. I'm open to other options. I just need to know what. Uh, this is the plan. Uh, um, yeah, this is the plan. This is the plan. This is the plan. There's the lead from the front. All right. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and you can play it with uh, because of this. Mmm. Mm. Well, well, there's you, your twisty yeah. ether too. Yeah, there's, there's I think it's to play. safer to play it now because of uh, lead from the front. Have, have, yeah, you, you might have want to have considered tanking four, but no, 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 there's no, that's, there's no, there's no logic to that. I, okay. We have brother sacrifice for boar, so that's good. Yeah, we have, we actually have a lot of mm. defensive things set up. I only have yeah. one card. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, I actually don't have enough cards under that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, do you want to discard it? So or... I will just mention that on this particular installation of the game, which is the public branch, I have not beaten Oblivion at all. Yeah. So if we beat Oblivion with a ultimate, I will get all of those achievements. So we should definitely do that. <laughs> Ooh, let's, do that. <laughs> let's do that. I have at least the first two Ooh. on my beta branch or my internal branch, but I don't have them on the public branch, so it was if completely we beat him, Yes. Um, if, if we beat Oblivion. Uh, I'm seeing Legion Corp process. I'm sure you're looking around. Um, yeah. Using the Intel Analyzer is good if you want to stack those missile pods. That's true. Then, I just don't need, yeah. to, I don't need to put too many under the pod for Imperion, though. <laughs> Always um, has been. That's true. Been. Uh, <laughs> I just want to figure out how many. Because uh, I want to, like, ideally hit him not too many times on this side with it because of whenever yeah. card is just destroyed effect. Uh, That's true. So maybe I will... I might not plan to hit... I. I this is energy damage. That's not good. Uh, I have the cold damage from playing a software, which is good. You also but, get the fire damage from... Oh, from the uh, discard on secondary cannon when you use a power. That's, That's projectile. Gonna, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. 
That's why and, that's why the missile pod is might be the damage I need to use. Uh, hmm. because it's the right type of damage. We do have, uh, Storm has lightning damage as well. And that's four? Oh, no, well, I, no, that's, uh, th nine. It's cause... plus six right now. Yeah. Nine. Or ten, because uh, Inspiring Leader. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is use Multipoint HUD. And use... Oh, but I don't want to discard a card. That's interesting. Does this gain me a card? That is in the wrong order. Hmm, like this is Intel Analyzer. Yeah, Intel Analyzer is good. It lets me play that software, which does the damage. But I want that cold damage to be happening later. <laughs> Ideally, uh, right. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah. Um. Hmm. If you shunt energy now and punch Oblivion, you get the. Oh, you want the cool damage to be later. Yeah. Uh, so, Spectre yeah. Cannon, did you play that before or after Coolant? Because that's that's the order. Uh, Secondary Cannon doesn't have an order that matters, right? It's just whenever you use a power. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, which oh, is yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Which right. is right so now. First. Yeah, if you punch Shunt Energy first, hit Oblivion, Secondary Cannon. Once I could also oh, top deck and maybe get a flyby. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, like mm. this means that it definitely works because I can hit him with the pod, and maybe we add one or one token or something. So let's definitely do, let's do this just to be sure. Okay. Uh. Actually, I don't need to do that. I guess I need to do it right now. okay though I think it makes a huge difference nine damage you could kill the red menace too incidentally yeah he's gonna probably get killed by yeah other a, stuff. a stiff wind <laughs> yeah I think, I think you go for it Lube on here yeah yeah Draw a card. Give me a card. Ooh, overhaul. There we Ooh. go. There's cold damage. That's what I want. That's good. That's really good. All That's right. really cool. Cooling system come yeah. back. Uh, I don't know that anything else... I guess I can return softwares and then decide on my softwares. Because maybe I don't want these exact ones, but I'll stick with all the hardwares, I think. I guess I could reorder some of these, but I'd have to pick, take the Inferno Pod out of play, which I don't want to do, so. Uh, Baconator, if in Demand of the Gods triggered, that's probably because you got Demand of the Gods before you played the Inferno Missile Pod. Maybe. I don't I don't know exactly how that works, but that's how something right. like the common Cooling systems. Works. And yeah, I could do Intel Analyzer again, but I'm already overkilling Imperion by a lot. Actually, you, I don't even need yeah, to hit Colonel him with Grimm this. Colonel Grimm said it doesn't work to debuff four before he flips. Unfortunately, the game clears everything on him except his tokens when he flips. I no, it does not bug. clear anything on him. Not but a bug. He's, he's not a target. That is the way. On his other he's side, not he's target, not a yeah. target, and those effects say target can't deal damage. Oh, that's mm. that, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's not. It. it says yeah, so it's not a bug. It's working as intended. As oh. intended. It might not be what you like, yeah. but it is in fact working as intended. Because he's not a target. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Um, and believe yeah, me, so, you were not the first I mean, one to complain about things in I'm this already, game when we talked to the designer. I'm already killing Imperion and Oblivion without discarding any more cards, so oh. <laughs> there's nothing I really have to do. Because, like, there's this, and then also, um, what's his face? Citizen Storm will kill Imperion for us, so. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice. And like, and, uh, incidental oh, man, damage. Oh Dolphin. Go ahead. Incidental damage is killing Oblivion, so. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, this is. <laughs> so the most important. Lou Dolphin, if you're into <laughs> Austin Powers, you gotta check out um, Patrick H. Willem's uh, Austin Powers retrospective that just came out on YouTube this week. It's so good. I'll oh. send you a link to it. Yeah, sorry, you were saying? Um, this next, the the 
ideally the next oblivion's next turn is both the most important and the last right um, be um mm. because he or his next card he plays he shouldn't be playing any other cards because we we set up a takedown and go from there yeah Ooh, and we have and, brother sacrifice and... if he like gets rowdy so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, actually not... we could get brother sacrifice going now by killing boar because i could easily kill boar if we want <laughs> <laughs> Um, I but don't. We can actually use that damage to like hit Oblivion with. So, <laughs> <laughs> I think we should just mm. hit Oblivion. If yeah, we... if you can, if you can get a uh, flip Oblivion without killing Boar, I think that's probably better because then maybe we can use Boar on the on the third phase. Um, right. Yeah. I have like just a silly amount of things I can do now. I'm gonna heal, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Benchmark is kind of the linchpin here because of his nemesis status with Oblivion. Um, he's kind of the so absolute zero is the other is the other one. They're like our two carries, and then the rest of the team kind of supports it all. Was like the envisioning. Yeah, actually, I'm flipping a on just with secondary cannon damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's, nice. that's, that's hilarious! Amazing. So I'm actually not gonna fire the missile pod. I'm gonna save it. Or oh, you can't not save it. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So I should hit something else. I'll hit the other reward guy. You twist the aether? No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I don't have anything expected. that like nets me cards. I don't think so. Uh, no. Yeah. Just use this and. Right. I'll just shoot. Well, yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna use like. I'm not redirecting damage to myself ever. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. <laughs> so. Uh. <laughs> I'll finish off this guy and then. Missile pod can totally overkill Oblivion times a thousand. All right, Sounds so wonderful. Demand of the Gods, Tracker, let's go. Oh, wait, it didn't track. Imperion's alive. Imperion's alive. Yeah, he is. Uh, this should be going on Demand of the Gods, but it's not. That's a bug. Unless we're adding gonna... a lot of uh, tokens. Oh yeah, that's right. We were gonna kill Imperion first, weren't we? We're, we were gonna do it with the cooling systems instead of no. I, yeah, it... I think. Okay, maybe we do take Somewhere... the missile pod back so that it doesn't happen. Yeah, well, there was a. I think it was under. Yeah, it was somewhere around here. I had a. <laughs> somewhere around here we. I had a, a, a thing to yeah, rearrange to my that. stuff, so I didn't realize, I forgot that that all destruction happens first and then the damage happens. So we yeah. need to go back. Mm, yeah, all the destruction, then all the damage. We need to go back. So that's we too need many, to go back. too many, like this overhaul loadout is what I use. Hey, so. we need to go back. Oh, because oh, Citizen Storm was going to do it. Yeah, but it's, but, but the, the I need to bring oh, the missile pod back. I need the missile pod to not go off, which is sad, but. Ooh, Necessary. wait, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah. My god, both Blue Marty. Dolphin and Sparky Wolf hit both of the we need to go backs. Well mm -hmm. done. We gotta, go, we gotta go back, Marty. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. <laughs> gotta go back. <laughs> All right, give me my Fun softwares. Fact, uh, Jack owns a orange vest that's exactly like uh, the one from Marty oh, Flynn's. The, yeah, a, a red like life jacket, life yeah. jacket, like that. Right, yeah. and I actually yeah, need right. to just not play the missile pod this turn, as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, it's gonna go after Citizen Storm now. The problem is it was going before Citizen Storm, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, because if Citizen Storm kills Imperion, then there's yeah. no problem. Yeah, I think that's right. So this happens. We hit Imperion. Citizen Storm's good for the rest. So, and honestly, the missile pod's good for that. So. Red Menace. Yeah. Perfect. This, and this, and that, and this, and this. <laughs> Benchmark go burr. I mean, I don't have to play them all. I can discard them instead, I guess, but. Uh, and yeah, let's do the top deck again. Discard a card I'm never going to be able to use. All right, so, so many powers. I, yeah, I guess if I just use this, 
that's enough damage to Bleveon with the one missile pod hit, so. I think. Oh, I lose a token because of... Oh, but I get another power. <laughs> yeah. Because of Imperion. This is a... This is okay, and honestly, if we end up, like, hitting a Bleveon, flipping a Bleveon the next turn. Oh, I also have this. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Let's just do that. Let's just make sure. All right, back to the end of our turn. Deal one target three lightning damage. Perfect. Also, Here now we all get way. to draw a card and use a power. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, someone anyone want to draw more cards? Uh, give it if you give it um, a legacy. Oh wait, if I give it to if I give it to benchmark, it's another missile pod. Hit. I I'm already I have nowhere to shoot the missile pod right now except that boss who's immune to damage. So right. Oh, you give it Sorry. You could maybe yeah. mental divergence something if there's something you want to get back from someone's trash, like a synaptic interruption maybe, or actually put it this way: if you draw cards, they ever been deal more damage. So you, you give it to yourself. That's true. Uh, wait, give what to myself? Your you draw to yourself. Your every man deals more damage. Oh yeah. And you can find yeah, the yeah, other yeah, twist yeah. the ether. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's do so that. The other your first one inevitably is destroyed <laughs> yeah. Weird, yeah. at least if something of it um discard a card probably don't need two copies of that pushing the limits what a great card i have one power which is a good power you have sucker punch then tachyon can sucker oh, punch, punch oblivion <laughs> <laughs> if you want to first if time you... we did on we use oh you don't have Ingram's it or the uh what was it all right. Does someone have a card that they're dying to play, or should I? Heal Actually, and... oh, you could play. No, this will... You could play takedown. I don't know if you want to play it now, though. I feel like we don't need to. You could um... play fleet of foot, and then you get, if you want, maybe I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that works. That works. That works. Hmm. Like if you manage to hit Oblivion with hypersonic yeah. assault, that's not bad actually. So, yeah, if you happen good. to get one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you want me to? Um... You play. Give Tacky on the play. Yeah, Tacky on the play. Tacky on the play. Yeah. Awesome. Oh shoot! I hit That's the wrong fine. thing. Uh, just take both allies. allies. It's fine. Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely fine. All right. Fine. Yeah. I mean, it's like <laughs> Tacky on light is both allies. It's actually. Uh, the thing about it is, like, um, I would have played like uh, pushing the limits or something, and that I take damage from it if I choose. If I, play I guess we have the whole combo, but you haven't actually used next evolution yet, have you? <laughs> I have not. Yeah. We didn't actually need it. Need the, the defensive. We, we were able to get benchmark. Yeah. That's. I mean, true. I'm not gonna call yeah. it say we've won, but I feel really close. <laughs> I get to use close, another yeah. power. I don't want so. to do these things. <laughs> I guess I'll just use multi-point HUD. And I don't need to discard a card. I, there's just not enough for me to do. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that didn't work, so. I, hmm. Anyone want it? Who destroys things? Here, Tachyon, why don't you have two cards? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your consideration. <laughs> All right, ten and ten. Okay, and my, this is my—I love this is my favorite piece. One of my favorite pieces of music mm. uh, is level three or uh, the transition and yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm ready. All right. I think the bells make it. Mm -hmm. All right, that was my turn. That was like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice turn. Nice turn. That was good. Um, I think. You are in the battle zone with Oblivion. Yeah. Oh, actually, should I not be? Mm. If you want him to He's not play hard, you might not want to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's have me uh, stay away from Oblivion for now. We need to go back. We need to go back. 
Oh, sorry. Hang on. He will That's follow fun. us, but at least he won't play a card <laughs> on your turn. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, let's go to the second battle zone. Uh, and then I don't... Yeah, since I'm not going to be dealing so much damage to him this turn, uh, taking a war torn landscape might be good. Yeah, it seems fine, and we have easy ways to destroy environment cards or remove them, so... Yeah. And we, like, have nothing else to do besides... Nothing else to do, yeah. <laughs> hey, form the Mecha Knight. Benchmark would like that. <laughs> also, Ooh, yeah. That's like a really one-turn kill on a Blue Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's actually insane. Yeah, for the Mecha Knight is really, really interesting as a uh, card. I like it a lot. T-Rex and Black. I guess the since you played those, those are going to happen like right now, but they're going to go after, like, I guess they're going to hit hit you. <laughs> yeah. We're playing fast and loose with the environment now. It's all right. Yeah, we got to be careful, though. Now we get some Eon Men, because Eon Master is around. Time you okay. get the obscene field. I twist the ether. No, oh, no, it was killed <laughs> by the Eon Man. They had nothing. They had nothing else to attack, so they attacked that. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think we need to save. I don't think we. Need to nah. <laughs> I don't think the Infinitor needs to sacrifice himself for <laughs> demoralization. <laughs> I think we're good. Demoralization <laughs> eaten by raptors. <laughs> yeah, there's... So whenever, like, behind the scenes, there's, like, actions that happen when... That make cards targets and or t make them not targets. And so, obviously, there's a, a way for one of them to not get called there. And so those cards have remained targets forever. Mm -hmm. uh, who is taking damage from Boar? It is. Visionary is. Oh, no, she's a little vulnerable. Yeah, Visionary can probably take it. She's not doing too it's much. It's like six right damage. Now. Yeah. I think yeah. keeping Benchmark and Legacy alive is. Well, Legacy like, got a ton of deep back, a ton of like. Or it's like back. actually nine damage? Because he's got plus. Oh, he's oh, got, he's got a lot of tokens. We should give it to Legacy. Oh, and. Uh... Let's do this. We should give it to Legacy. Because Legacy has two debuffs, two two two, vent, two things where you're yeah, used to. I mean, or we could go Brother Sacrifice if we want, but that, oh so yeah, I, also have, I still I, I saved uh, Plunky V, so we could save. Like I would only loot like every take man nine. Man. Every man would take nine, and I could save the T Rex bot. Hmm. I think so this is fine. Other... I, think, I think this works though. I'm sorry for yeah. being so. Oh, we're we're more. just doing this. Uh, so I'll save it here. Oh, right. You can always lead from the front anyway. I think this is worth it. To say yes for this one? Yeah. Sure. Because you know, it's, it's <clears throat> goes down to five. Four. Yeah. 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 It's not too bad. Uh, oh, hello. Is... We like could just say no to all these if we don't want to let this card go. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Gizmo wants to say hi. Hi, Gizmo. Hello. Hi, Gizmo. You got buttons to click as well, Jeremy. I know oh, you've got a hello. cat, though. I'm Gizmo. <laughs> I'm Gizmo. Oh, no. All right, Gizmo, you got to go down because I got to click things. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, what do you want to do? You want to come up here? No? Okay. You can do whatever you want. I like how it keeps asking us. <laughs> you really want to save this? Are you saving T Rex Bot? Um, I think from... so. Let's play you can Plunk a Boo it if you want. Now let's use a power. Nice. Hey. Let's increase my damage. And uh, Oblivion is in the first battle zone now. Yeah. So 
You probably don't want to play Gizmo Kubek. does have a new you probably don't want to play Kubek Ardbeg <laughs> box. I got a new I got a new bottle of Ardbeg, so I threw away the old Ardbeg box that she was uh, using as a toy, and now she has a, new, a brand new one. That's wonderful. Are you excited to have a new box to play with? Yes, you are. <gasps> yeah, I, I think yes, there's a little are. bug here too, where it's like asking you about the other card. Didn't you? Yeah, use I noticed Plunk that. Like, we need to have. Wait, we use Plankevu. I did, yeah. What? That's weird. Huh. Soldier forward. Yeah, we could go back and pick something else. Avoid all of this by hitting Legacy instead. Yeah, we could just hit Legacy instead. Or Let's... brother sacrifice everything. Mm -hmm. uh, what I, do I you think guys we're, do? we're probably okay either way. Yeah. I like saving I mean, a brother's sacrifice. Saying, saying until, yes like, to this actually yeah. lets you proc moving target, but yeah. Move oblivion. Oh, that's. Mm, no, never mind. I'm what like, is that's... proc short for? Process. Process. Okay, that's what I thought, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. And I've I've noticed it in a lot more of the streams that I've been watching. That people say proc, and I I know what it, I get what they're saying, but I wasn't yeah. sure what it was short for. Mm -hmm. So please say benchmark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, any reason? It, his damage is buffed by the Oblivion Shard. Oh. It's only yes. one damage to Legacy also. Yeah. 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 And if you want, you could save Citizen Storm, but he's... Whatever. He does what he does. do more instances of damage, so it's nice, but not the end uh, of the world. The rest, had... I'm feeling like the rest is choose for me. Sure. I'm just, I'm just like thinking if there's any like small optimization. It's as much as we want to let, let Legacy take, right? Yeah, you probably don't want to let him take too much because there's going to be more damage coming. Unless, again, we do have Brother Sacrifice that we could use instead of taking yeah. all this damage. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. I feel like we, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the, the only reason I was <laughs> hesitant is because like, I'm like, but there could be next turn, right? Uh, but but we, we could make wow. it so that there isn't a next turn if we are alive. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But anyways, let's continue doing this. <laughs> I guess I guess we're we're dug in. Yeah, we we could just go back and and do that. You know, we could just keep talking about it while we all vote to keep moving forward on the current plan. Yeah, I think I think we're fine. I feel like this is topical. <laughs> 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 it is indeed. Oh, democracy. <laughs> okay. The nice part is we've done just under half of what we need to do to win. Game is out of sync. Oh? Oh, no! no. It'll, 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 it's loading the data, hopefully. I'm getting... I'm not getting the... I'm not gonna... Oh no. What? How did we desync? This might have been my fault. I like held the button and said choose this for the rest of the turn. That shouldn't on matter. the last choice. Okay. I'm just saying that's oh. the only thing I changed from the last time, so... Uh... This is weird because I'm not seeing that in the log. Did someone disconnect and reconnect? Um, yeah, I think that did happen. Hmm. It did say it's Jeremy's fault. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I like I said, I chose I chose the thing, and I mean, I I don't know why that would be the problem, but that is a thing that I changed from the last turn to this turn. So if I quit and rejoin, could it fix it? Uh, who? So who in the game is seeing game out of sync? Oh, uh, I am. I am seeing it. I am not. Okay, so all of us except Jack. So I'm gonna I'm gonna quit and rejoin to see if I can get back in. But not let's not all do that. Uh so go back. Yeah, we're gonna do it do it one at a time. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting back in. 
I guess I'm the streamer. I shouldn't have been the one to do it. <laughs> Game.sub coroutine.blame.jeremy0. Yes, indeed. Uh, it was Prime Warden's number one, right? Correct. That's correct. Could not find the game. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, Jack, you're the owner. Hmm. You are the king. I, guess I shouldn't yes. have been the one to, to leave the game. Okay. That's true. Oh, there's a... Yeah. There's a... <laughs> Uh, we can share it over safe. Discord, I guess? Or I can just narrate while Jack plays. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, I can, I can stream, stream it on Discord. Uh... Um, yeah, here, well, why don't uh, Conway, you try quitting. Try, instead of pressing that quit game button, like just like quit Sentinels, like Command Q or whatever, like or Alt F4. Because oh, I think I the quit game button. Yeah, we'll try going back into online multiplayer and see if it pops up to rejoin. But I think it might not because of that button. I think that might be what happened. Could so not be in game because it has already started. Is the uh, time gonna? Hmm. Connecting. Yeah, there's nothing. Unlucky. All right. So yeah, Jack, I'm if sorry, you can everybody. stream your you're stream the, over you're Discord, the anchor. that's going to be. Am I... Wait, did everyone else? <laughs> yep. Oh boy! So okay. I haven't Jeremy... quit yet. I'm just sitting here looking at a game out of sync. Game button, out of sync. So... I see. Okay. Uh... Select yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I yeah. Just... No Never pressure. Never okay. I guess no <laughs> finishing finishing this. Uh, yeah, on my own here. All right. Jack's uh, the hero. So I'm gonna get <laughs> into OBS and like make this so that <laughs> we can see everything. All right. So, uh, we have, yeah, let me know when. Oh, so I don't see your screen yet. Okay. Uh, to... I'm, let's see. I'm streaming it in our discord call. Hmm. It's yeah. not like showing um, up. Oh, I'll just cancel it and try mode, again. Disable that. Sorry. Uh, you're in streamer mode. If at the top of Discord. Oh, does that disable that disable, feature? Yeah. All right. Yes, well, let me... because it's like considered like a privacy concern, and right. so yeah, normally. Let me do this. Yeah. yeah. You just gotta disable, press the disable. I don't want your it. little special codes to appear and stuff. If that would, I don't think that would actually. I mean, happen. it's fine. I don't. I'm not worried, yeah. but I. Uh, it is a like you know. All right. Uh, right. Disable streamer mode. And then is there going to be something that says, I have to say. Oh, I was sort of able to rejoin, but it says game out of oh, sync, yeah. requesting data from another player. This. And now okay. you can full screen, you can full screen that, and then that should be a window you might be able to stream from an OBS. Yeah, let me just increase it a little uh, bit. It's because it was under the non-video participants thing, that's which I have turned, had turned off. Got it. Okay, got it. This, like that. It's just like as if I'm streaming. Oh, but then it's like too. It's the wrong size, so we need to. <laughs> this is like. We're learning as we go. No, exactly. no worries. Exactly. All right, let's yeah. do that. Craft that there. Resize it up. But then we don't have. I'm the impressed you can, the you're doing this all in real. We time. don't have the people, but uh, we'll just have have me, I guess. Uh, we you, you can't have. Can you guys bars. hear me? Well, there's like a lot of black bars if I do that. Oh, but... that's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, Sparky still, Wolf. Yes, can do it. it is. It's not too many. I black painted bars. that. Um, Discord is telling me that you can't hear me, so I'm assuming you can we hear can me. Hear you. Oh, wait, there it goes. Now it we went away. You. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Then... Well, good because I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> huh? All right, I'm in okay. the corner. Uh, Jack, carry us to the end of this. Yeah, Jack. All right. <laughs> Jack, you're three. carrying us. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Stream is ready. Is tearing through reality. <laughs> uh, please, want... like, feel free to to help me strategize here, because yeah. this is a lot to keep oh, track of. We can of. still just, like, say what we want to do on our turns or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so he's dealing uh, each target two plus two. So... Um, let's see. Does the order of this matter? Um, oh, is he killing Boar? 
So yeah, it does. Yeah, well, because of Obsidian Field. Yeah. So I, I guess we're a hero's sacrificing. Brother sacrifice. Here it is. Or brother sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> I could have this three rounds ago. Don't be like us kids. Don't. You be know what? I, I have time to go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's no there's no processing. There's like it's only you that has to deal with. Like it. it's only yeah it's only, uh, is it worth it? We'd be saving T Rex bot and a bunch of damage on Legacy. Evil. And other people yeah like when i mean there it, it, it's worth it it's at the I think, end of turn second battle zone. yeah we uh, knew that uh i think play a second card battle. second battle zone actually like we knew that tachyon okay. was going to die from all this but at that point i think we just didn't know it like here like we knew it but we didn't know it <laughs> okay. i felt okay, it okay, I <laughs> okay so destroying the dinosaurs yeah, i guess it was end of turn yeah so here where Boar is hitting right. basically so anyone. Had, yeah. Yeah. So let's just hit Visionary and we'll hit this. It'll kill it. We'll use the Brother's Sacrifice. I'm okay with that. You say yes. Uh, We're saving yes. the mental yeah. divergence. I like I like that to be noted. Gonna, yeah. That is important. And We're here's the, the, the one player multiplayer game in action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is actually how Jack and I first started playing the game. So we played via, because I didn't own the game. Oh, right. So he was yeah. showing it to me via Steam. Uh, oh, what yeah. Was it? Remote play. Remote, remote play. play. <laughs> and it was We're kind of awful. Playing the same mouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great uh, way to introduce your friends to the game if, if they don't own it. Yeah, it was very so fun. this all cool. goes, but I we don't I take don't any damage. To, to speed through this. Yeah, we won't take any damage from any of it. Yeah, you can speed Dark through mind. this because we like already. Ooh. We did it, but we, yeah, we already way saw before. This. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dark mind is rough though, because uh, lots of ongoing destruction with some men. All well, right, so that's flip dark mind. Benchmark can just kill any scions around with incidental damage. So <laughs> yeah, benchmark. Will... That's very true. Yeah. And a, so yeah, and Bora is actually going to kill a whole bunch. If, are there, are there any, dark there's mind no first, Ian man right there. Kill Bore. You might kill her with Bore. There's no Ian that's man, it. so I think it's okay to. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's oh okay God. to yeah. choose for. No, me. this is actually yeah. killing dark mind because. Uh, She's taking 20 from Amazing. Boar and then 6 from a blue. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Can I get a lot of text that says we're immune to the damage? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is what we normally see. We had a surprisingly yeah. exciting Oblivion game with this setup, which is intended to, like, make it as right. dirtily as possible. <laughs> we're so yeah. close. Uh, uh, you can just... Uh, yeah. There's... Oh, oh but almost. she has minus 2. Yeah. Right. On advanced, I guess. Bit. I boss my decimator. No. Uh, no. Yeah, it's past that point. And you get to get use a power, power and get another plus one. <laughs> yep. Play a card. Oh, and he and you... is in. Oh, wait, no, he's still in. Oh, he's in he the second. Like oh, great. You could hit Let's him with that him, now. I would just like to point out that if we win at this point, I will not get any of the achievements, and therefore... Oh, no. Jack, That's uh, right. Only Jack oh, no, you're right. <laughs> yes, you're right. right. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, Jack. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And now, oh, does this take out Dark Mind? Or maybe just not quite? Oh, no. Kubek uh, saves, saves Dark okay, Mind. Wait, wait, wait. So, yeah. Hit, hit someone else first, right? If no, but I think Kubex they're all immune, they're immune, so it's okay. It's fine. It's just funny oh, that no. you saved Dark That Mind. is funny. <laughs> <laughs> She'll go That's down so on one of our turns. Sucker puncher. She'll go down, yeah. She'll go down eventually. <laughs> There's always some weird shenanigans that go on. More, this must be advanced. Yeah. He plays more Eon men here. Uh... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, play the top three cards of the and then deck, then the bottom yeah. card of a sign reserve. But there's no more signs, I think, right? We, yeah. Oh, there's one. Uh, there's two more scions. Okay. Progeny there's and progeny, at least. yeah. Oh, right. Uh, but there's no battle zone with no scions, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's not gonna refresh. Fresh. Um, let's see. So here's where we would love to play. Take down, right? Um. Yeah. But we don't, don't have, have any a way. Incapacitated ability. Yeah. Or any way of giving up play. 
Well, that's so, okay. We are immune to um, damage, I though, right? So yes. it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's however, true. Um, he is he is he is pulled to the abyss stairs back, meaning if you can manipulate his deck, there is no. I don't think there's a way that he can hurt you. Uh, I would check and make sure that I'm not wrong. Abyss stairs okay. back he plays. No, 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 no. Though, right? He just cycled through his deck. He just cycled through his deck. In, yeah. In oh right, yeah. You're thinking, yeah. He had played them, but he has like three copies of it anyway, so. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. I thought it was two. I mean, if you want to take that, I don't think we need it for benchmark to have it. Yeah. So I, I, yeah. Take this in the deck is like because there's two more that are really good. Um, the um El Major Legando. Is you don't. Easy. You should wait until you have more cards to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get to draw some from Tachyon probably, or even from mm. Visionary here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Agreed. Um, let's see. So I guess I'm just... Telekinetic Cocoon has become Psychic Decoy. Fun fact. Kind of. In a really kind roundabout, of. not yeah. even directly related. A little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess I'm just mind spiking Oblivion to get <laughs> a little damage, little damage in. Or I could kill uh, Darkmind. What's the reward for Darkmind? Oh, think, no, you, you get to play yeah. the ongoing. Benchmark can kill all those other targets with one power, so... Yeah. Just yeah. hit hit a blow on. <laughs> and then we'll give some cards to Stuntman, Stuntman unless uh, you have eight cards. Yeah, in Stuntman's hand. probably Benchman. good. Yeah. There they go. Moving, moving target. target back and hit and mine. Hidden mine. Nice. Uh so I already have stylish armor. Don't think that'll get destroyed. Yeah. Hey, there's twist there's the not either. Twist the either. Hey, impending doom. Uh, that's my. I, I call that the uh, seven mana do nothing. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anything that Obliv Oblivion does that doesn't immediately kill you is yeah, you know, it's a benefit. A, a good. <laughs> we haven't yet. actually seen Focus of Power this game yet. That's uh, true. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I don't think we've seen uh, his insta kill card either yet right mm. uh we, that yeah, is no. a tion that is oh no no, no, no you're right, right. Um, nothingness air nothing. nothingness yeah um, the, the funniest great games always happen when you get air nothingness on turn one and okay it's like, oh, actually unlucky. you might want to have killed dark mind because she will steal any ongoings that pop up here but also it means they get played so maybe that's okay <laughs> when she's she's oh, gonna yeah she'll steal the oh, ongoings but die. then we get we, they get to play them for free yeah. so. oh wait so this is even better yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suggestion. Uh, so so I, I would, would just I would just draw them because we're yeah. very likely to get an ongoing card. Well, I think. Oh. I mean, uh, if if she well, steals it, it doesn't count for discard it. Yeah, she, but oh, you, it counts as discard. Oh. Wait, it counts well, as you, discarding if she steals want, it. It, it, you it you won't count. Everything. It won't count. Oh, won't count. It won't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, you right. So you're saying just take the draws. I say just take the draws. Yeah. Oh, we're not Yeah. I see. Yep, Actually, and take hypersonic anyways, because that's good. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to draw all one-shots? We might end yeah. up drawing all, all oh one-shots. Hey, I mean, I would want to draw flyby anyways. Yeah, drawing flyby. Oh, no. Uh, okay. she, she, stole, she stole the last one. Dramatic cliffhanger. There you go. Perfect. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, let's stay in the second. And what am I doing with this? Demand of the gods. That's probably not going to happen. Uh, I think swap it out or shuffle. I think it's swap out. This is likely to. It's unlikely we're going to use it, but like it's more likely to. Yeah, work. we're definitely going to get yeah, it. I think I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's swap it out. You could swap out um, Demand of the Gods and have two regular objectives. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, it's a sneaky way to do that. Um, but no, not yet. Um, and then not because, yet. We're going to try. Because it's my turn. I'm, I'm here. Is a oh yeah. What would you like to do? Yeah. So now I am. <laughs> I, this is me playing. Actually, <laughs> your turn. So cool. Yeah, uh, pushing the limits for sure. All right. Um, and then uh, um, just like um, uh, hypersonic assault, uh, we can just kill Dark Mind, right? Not fleet but, of I foot. Mean, uh, well, yeah, no, fleet of foot. Yeah, fleet of foot. Sorry, I thought I thought that was a different. I'm stupid. <laughs> um, I can play three cards. So can we play a burst card? Um, do supersonic response, and then use that to kill Dark Mind, and then Light Sea Barrage, Oblivion. Let's do it. Oh, oh you, you don't need to hit Dark Mind, just FYI. Yeah. Oh, just <laughs> right 
I'll just okay. with it on then. Yeah, oh, we're fine. Dark Mind uh, is it'll be all six. Seven. not gonna last past my turn. Seven. Nice. I have three flybys also now, so that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think Oblivion is not long for this world. If all and goes Voss well. And will fall down right away, too. Orb energy, that's okay. We're still immune to damage, so. Yeah. Uh, yes. ooh, he so hits, he's hitting some... Eon Men. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. This only makes benchmarks No, stronger. yeah, I'm happy to take tokens <laughs> down. He's not killing Eon Men, though, so it's okay. He's just hurting them. Yeah. Oh, he did get Dark Mind. <laughs> <laughs> so we got dramatic cliffhanger. <laughs> this is a kind of a thing that we that that was mentioned earlier uh, about like tokens being okay if you can use them as power, but like don't 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 try to get tokens. <laughs> it's usually not good. Yeah. Uh, start punching, Blavion. Yeah. Yeah, you want to get your one shots in before the uh, before your uh turn. Yeah. Uh, we do have to destroy a card here. I don't really mind destroying something like this, though. I've it's... got piles of software I'm not using, too. And we'll deal another eight. You gonna win the game before my turn? Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. Well, we gotta, we gotta. <laughs> yeah, vassal, and then vassal. And there's the. And this flipped Thanks already. <laughs> nice. I flipped on your turn. <laughs> Right, because the stunt man on your turn happening. Yeah. The same yeah, the same turn you picked it up. That's nice. And cursor. cursor. And, and we got cursor. Uh, discard hypersonic uh, discard uh blinding speed. We don't need two of them. Uh bloodstone tax. Yeah, bloodstone tax. All right. Uh, Legacy. Hey, get on. Hellion is Jeremy, what you doing? Um, oh yeah, I should uh just watching. Just watching. <laughs> uh uh you if you want to steal the scene you can. You've a good you've a good no, setup. No, no, no. I'll steal the scene from from Benchmark. <laughs> That's hey. more <laughs> You only have one card you're allowed yeah. to play, Jack. Uh I'm sorry, Jeremy. Take down. If you don't do, play take do down, what you need to do. Yeah, take down I think is a yeah. is a must here because play, play both take down. is worn off. <laughs> yeah, so you could play both copies of takedown if you wanted to. <laughs> be immune to it twice. So do you or want you next evolution or does it really matter what we do now? I don't know if it does. I don't think it really does. I don't think it really does either. I can give Punch Oblivion. Yeah, it's Punch Oblivion. Motivationally. Oh, I thought you were gonna motivational charge. Oh, this doesn't punch Oblivion. Yeah. Well, you can <laughs> play something else. You had one job. Play training montage, I guess. That's fine. Yeah, we'll draw cards. <laughs> Isn't he going to hurt himself a lot? Yeah, I would not say yes here. Unless you really want to take uh, 10, 10 damage. <laughs> 10 damage. <laughs> oh, not necessary. <laughs> it was like, it's the, hey, the only thing. HP that matters is the Ooh, last one, right? The legacy yes. ring. I like oh. how you think, Jeremy. What, this The difference with... The, the, you, you still win if you have one HP. Yeah. Uh, I just skip. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just honestly, play. learning that lesson has made me better at almost every game I play. Mm. Like the mm. idea of like reading. Please don't play hidden mine. Resource that you can use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Jeremy, well, Jeremy, Jeremy very important lesson. But although, yeah, uh, yeah, hidden mine will be bad for benchmark. Very bad. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not uh, do this that. This damage is actually happening. Um, the nice yeah, thing but about legacy it, though, can redirect all this for zero. Yes. It yeah. Can. So just redirect it to legacy and then set it for turn. Kuvexel? Is this Kuvexel. 10? This is, yeah. You, yeah, no, we can't kill a Hellion. I mean, I probably don't need to do this to Oblivion because you, you probably, want Benchmark's to, probably going to be able to. You want Benchmark to be able to kill it before the Inferno Missile Pods, right? Because then yeah. he can hit the Inferno Pods. I will kill Voss with the Missile yeah. Pods. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this should be zero if all of this is transferred to. Uh, oh, I guess I didn't get that. Did off. you clear the oh. eight? Oh, it's your. Hmm. Did I? Huh. That's okay. That's okay. It's it's like yeah. two damage. It's fine. Cursor. Choose. We'll kill this on thrall. Yeah, we can choose. What are you doing? Uh, 
Uh, nine damage. I think oh, the yeah. answer is yeah. That's is yeah. leap in the front gone for some reason or what? Yeah, I don't. I guess. Oh, it is. No, it's still there. Oh, it's... oh, that's not a villain card. It's not a villain. It's not a villain card. It's a mission card. Oh, it's, it's a villain, villain target. Card. Okay, okay. So it's you fine. You gotta it's, it, 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 it's fine. Benchmark is fine. So. <laughs> Sure, I'll I take on the objective. I do not think you should take this on. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you should use it. I'm taking it. You can't stop me. Uh, all right, so okay. what would you like to discard? All right, to discard the, the last software in the list. The threat neutralizer. Threat neutralizer? Yeah. And yes, put it under the pod. We'll do this. Pod it. Uh, use a power. Let's use the power that increases my damage by one. Multi-point HUD. Yep. It's a good one to start with. And let's discard and then, uh, the intervening path calculator. Yeah, it's reasonable. And hit Oblivion for half of his health. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, let's draw a card. I don't have any stuff. I'll, I guess I could play the other plus one, but. If you have, yeah, Ally Matrix. If you play the software the and then and then overhaul loadout, you can get the double point. the double hit of the coolant. Yeah, let's play oh, yeah. the multi point HUD. Yeah, I have all my flybys, so I don't really need to draw anything. This triggers. Uh, yeah, this will take out Oblivion. Hit Oblivion, and then we get the cutscene. The heroes were almost victorious, but Raynek Kelvoss has other plans. Da 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 da. This is a bug. We definitely beat Oblivion. I don't understand why the game did that. <laughs> Report it. Report it now. I love right. the text on Voss that says, uh, yeah. like, uh, uh, the heroes cannot, is it? Yeah, here. If you would win the game, flip this card instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so, right. pow it's so powerful. Such powerful yeah. text. Um, I don't then... know if we're not, I don't even know if we're getting to Missile Pod. Uh, draw a card. <laughs> yeah, we might not, we, we might not even get there because Ooh, like okay. you're gonna go off now and deal a bunch of damage. Let's do it. We'll deal ten. Yeah, actually, with all those flybys, we're not getting to missile pods. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we'll play. Uh, it doesn't matter because none of them is gonna happen. But yeah, yeah, neither of them. Oh, we can yeah. make one. No, yeah. we could. Yeah, we could. We, we could, could make, make it happen. We could. We could. I think we just Plankevu. triple flyby. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Flybys, hit the things. Do we have a synaptic interruption around? Let's see. Uh, I do not believe uh, so. We do not. Uh, okay. Not. Well, we have hit, bloodstone. <laughs> do you just want to kill everyone people? else. <laughs> just to heal everyone. Well, hit yeah. the hellion. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Seraph is. Uh, do you want to use a power if you plunk a I don't know if you have powers oh, though, right? All right. If, uh, I actually don't know. I I didn't draw my if my yeah, weapons. So plunk Avu doesn't do anything. So uh, yeah. just skip, I guess. Oh, we could hit. Oh wait, no, that's only radiant yeah, damage. Yeah, radiant. 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 Play a card. Play flyby. Do again. Play a flyby. <laughs> play a flyby. And we'll play another card. <laughs> Yeah, Sparky. Kitty doesn't like to be on Play the a map. card. Play the oh. overhaul loadout. Yep. And then recur the three. coolant. Yeah. Uh, take back so the get... coolant thingy. Thingy dingy. And, and any, any software. Like countermeasures or something. Yeah. Probably that's all we need to take back. Uh, actually, take back the multi-point HUD that I used earlier. Because I can uh, use it again if I play it again. Right. Yeah. And then skip and play the, yeah coolant thing and then multi-point hud yeah damage to Voss. <laughs> easy 13 damage <laughs> and they yeah if, 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 we reader, if we had a read if we had a redirect this would be over by now uh and then just yeah. whatever other softwares it doesn't matter just play them <laughs> yeah just, just, <laughs> just play it out uh, how many what is your total software hardware count You've most of his deck uh, out. <laughs> uh, if you hover, if you right click his software. He yeah, does. I think that's at seven. So I'm missing one hardware, I think. Mm. Oh, yeah, we, we're at eight and eight. Oh, wait. Yeah, eight. I think maybe we're a full. I'm not sure. Uh, and um, just press skip. 
We're not gonna use a power. In any case, we're gonna go to the missile pod. Missile pods. <laughs> yes, let's take him down. Uh, the just press skip. Skip the card play. Skip him. <laughs> Storm can do it. Ah, just skip. Nah. skip. Uh, then we draw. Then we he get all the end of a turn effects. It's it's like so anticlimactic. Sure, discard a card. That's okay. I'm okay to discard. Yeah, that's that's fine. That that feeds into missile pod. It feeds and yeah, yes. missile nice. pods. Blow him. blow it go. up. Blow it up. Only thirty six damage here. I could have done like probably another hundred damage on the turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. And so this kind of strategy is how we uh, beat uh, Ultimate Oblivion on nice. a few weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, so do you think we're going to win or? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy just tuning in. Uh, <laughs> 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 We're both the saddest to Oblivion ever, says Colonel Grimm. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. we didn't win because I didn't get the achievements. So that's oh. true. <laughs> Did you get the achievements? Goes in Jack, lost, Jack, the honest with us. Did you get the achievements? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I no. have the achievements. <laughs> didn't you? Didn't you have them already though from playing before? Like. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. That's what I'm saying. No, I mean, I'm like I mean, Jack did. Jack did. I, I actually I, haven't beat Ultimate oh, Jack, Oblivion yet. I, like, like, with look, the super Oh, you haven't since I, we did it no, ourselves. No, no, no. Oh, right, because the achievement <laughs> was bugged when you did it that the time. It was, was yeah, like, originally it was bugged. And, yeah. and then, um, and then we, and then I, I, I tried a few times just for fun between the random. <laughs> and then, no. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry, there was a multiplayer bug, but we'll That's we'll okay. see what we can figure out what happened there. Uh, but yeah, that was good. Yeah, GG. Regardless, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was super fun. Thank you for the. Thank yeah, you. definitely. Like, we had a plan, we executed it, and it worked. <laughs> yeah. But funnily enough, we never did the thing we made the composition we, for. We, we yeah. Well, because yeah. Twist the Ether kept getting destroyed because it was still a target, so that was kind of a little <laughs> wrinkle. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It turns out that that uh, the heroes were powerful enough to carry it even without the the pre planned. Yeah, uh, and combo. We, and so. we only lost absolute zero twice, right? That was it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty impressive. I don't know. I think I did beat Oblivion once without losing a single hero when I was doing testing, but it's not typical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very true. I'm. It is. It is not hard to do a like a clean Oblivion run. Or yeah. it's not. It's not easy. I'm so sorry. Well, it especially because. He can just play a card that incaps your hero immediately. So, like, <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Aside from all the damage and everything, mm -hmm. there's our environments. We definitely lost a lot of environments, but yeah, I think we had. Yeah, one we were on the last one, 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 right? Yeah. Oh, did we have a spare? I think we. Yeah, maybe we, we could have lost one more. The refuge. Yeah. <clears throat> the refuge. The mm. refuge. Yeah. The refuge. Yeah, so we lost two. Not bad. Yeah, that was that was a good time. Some good combos. Benchmark, of course, is ridiculous. Benchmark, <laughs> even, yeah, MVP in this game. Even without um, the shard, I'm, he's still ridiculous. But the shard just the, uh, makes overdrive. The, yeah. the, the status as nemesis is yeah very very important. I just feel. having that plus one, and then he's got his like he can actually get to like plus four or five on his own turn by using that multi point HUD like multiple times. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. You like it. So I did just want to mention real quick, the first time I heard this piece of music, uh, I cried. <laughs> um, because it was like the exact, like Jean-Marc is amazing, but he had built this piece of music to sort of be like the capper on the end of it. And I watched it at the exact right time that I was in the right frame of mind to be like, oh my God, we're actually finishing this thing. Like this is, this is like, the end of the thing and i listened to it and i was like oh my god we finished the thing <laughs> and it was it was it was definitely a moment so it's really really good <laughs> yeah the sacrifices of heroes were not in vain well done two environments destroyed two heroes and capped seven scions defeated oblivion yeah. nice ultimate work. oblivion it's been defeated which good was game, the scion that didn't come out was it progeny, uh, progeny. Prog oh progeny yeah yeah He's usually um, annoying, so <laughs> good. Yeah, I probably put him for the end. Oh yeah, I guess that's why you put him at the bottom. That's <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, that's because I, 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 I put. I, I, I don't know. Um, so I, I was the one who kind of thought about the scion order a lot, and right. um, I, uh, 
I, 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 I kind of like made a soft rating relative to our team composition's goals, and I put Dark mm-hmm. Mind above Progeny because mm-hmm. Progeny is so annoying to deal yeah. with that I was just like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we should probably deal with Dark Mind first. <laughs> <laughs> well, Blavan did his best to play every Scion, like all but one came out, which is, mm-hmm. and none of yeah. them came out on like because of his turn effects. It was all like pl- card plays, one shots that brought them all out. <laughs> It's not like we had any yeah. choice about it. <laughs> yeah, man, we would have had a really like a much rougher time at the end, in, uh, if uh, if not for a brother's sacrifice. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, we had a really someone good. Someone a lot good, of damage. Good thing we decided at the start when originally we should have used that. We never rewound or anything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> we had like eight different times we could have used it and we just didn't. So that's yeah, like, yeah. I was like, hey, should we use the brother sacrifice here? Nah. We, use the we were like, uh, nah. no, the things we were like, oh, we probably should. And we just kept on clicking. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> uh, the, the thing that I think really, really helped, like almost carry, like did very, very good for us this game was the turn with Nixius. We got like mm. three key objectives immediately. Yeah, that and, that Nixius flip is super oh, yeah. super good if you can manage it. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Even if we, I do think if we got nothing, we would have still been fine. But yeah, oh, just because Benchmark was so set up. And I think Benchmark even moves, yeah. even yeah. if we didn't have Brother Sacrifice, it would have been okay because I think Tachyon would have been in capped, but I don't think anyone else because of Legacy. Actually, but Legacy had redirects, so we might not have even had any in caps. Just been really wounded. So yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, but I will just say, like, at no point during this game did I was I like, oh boy, we're about to be dead. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely played Oblivion games where it's like, Ugh, all right, I, this might as well happen because there's no way we're gonna live through this. And in this game, there was no point where it was like, uh oh, if we don't do this, we're done. Yeah. Maybe the, you... maybe there was one or two, but there were very I think few of them. When Oblivion was like playing all of his countdown advancing cards immediately that was a little troubling but then mm. we managed to like flip him with the shield just in time so that was fun yeah yeah, yeah. the first phase took five five or yeah we got him down to countdown one the yeah. nice yeah. thing about the countdown cards is oblivion isn't the one dealing damage so he's not getting like that buff that huge damage buff that's in the true. beginning. Yeah. so like mm. it's like a issue of tempo versus like immediate threat of death and yeah <laughs> right like, yeah they feel a bit slower if at least to me as somebody who like because like a tear through reality is like 14 damage and it's just right. like you just have to accept it and, or global like, devastation over. yeah and oh, he like goodness, kills a scary. bunch of yeah. the men in the other battle zone and starts playing more cards and <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow, we times. even had it legacy had an extra takedown too yeah, so we that's what I was saying. We should have played them both at once just to show off. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just to twist that knife. Just... Oh, pose on Oblivion. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So what's what's next is like you've like uh, defeated Ultimate Oblivion. I guess there's like random Ultimate Oblivion, right? Like if you don't know you're playing Primary Objective, if you don't know your Hero Comp, then that I is thought... a different beast. Uh, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely going to be playing it. I enjoy Random Oblivion a lot. Um, yeah, and, Random uh, Oblivion is great. Yeah, I'm definitely be playing it. And for cool. me, yeah, Random are, Oblivion yeah. scratches my roguelike itch. Mm. Like, I'm a big, like, mm. I played a bunch of Binding of Isaac. I'm playing a ton of Hades right now. Like, this idea of, like, throw me into the deep end with totally random settings and see what I can do. Like that definitely scratches my roguelike itch. And I've played a ton of Oblivion games that are just random starts to see, but I have not played a ton of, of Oblivion games with the new ultimate and, mm. you know, mm. challenge and advanced the rules. So. Really cool thing about Sentinels of the Multiverse is that I feel like most times when you hit that random button, you have a significant chance of being able to win. If you can figure out how to manipulate the hero, like the hero to you. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. yeah. Like, one of Christopher's design goals was like every single villain again in every single environment against every single team of heroes, you have a chance to win. You might not win because like yeah. you might get a bad draw, you might whatever, but like there is no scenario in this game where you start off and it's like, well, except Wager Master, I guess, where like you might lose the first <laughs> turn and you're just done. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um... So <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Uh, I mean, that doesn't apply to advanced or challenge, but for standard, for sure, there's. Yeah, like, that's true. There's always a way. Advanced um, and challenge are definitely non balanced. <laughs> there's even yeah. some. There's some situations that are really difficult, like um, the Ennead 
ha- if you have heroes that can't deal mm. that only deal melee and projectile and stuff, then uh, Shu can lead to a, a lose condition every time. But you know, there's a shuffle where Shu's on the bottom, and you can actually do enough damage fast enough to win. Uh, some people have <laughs> have done that, but it's like that's pretty tough. <laughs> um, but yeah, cool. Yeah, that's uh, it's you know, there's always more something more to try and more to learn i I always find like playing random heroes is is a lot of fun because you learn a lot of new combos and new new synergies right the uh, yeah the other thing yeah and that was actually something that john turned me on to was like i used to have like my four favorite heroes that i would play every game and i played my four favorite heroes and he said like i basically just hit shuffle and i play and see what happens and i started doing (laughs) a lot of that this was a couple of years ago at this point. And yeah, like learning some of the synergies that you might not necessarily, you know, try on your own, I thought really, really helped me understand a lot of the mechanics of the game. This was actually the phase at which I was playing a lot of absolute zero because I was like, you know, shuffling it and then picking an absolute zero and being like, oh, I don't care who the other heroes are, but I want, I really want to like focus absolute zero. But then I, I discovered a lot of other interesting interactions because like the random heroes that I would get would give me other really interesting sort of stuff to do so yeah um one thing i wanted to say was uh, one thing jack and i i know we're gonna do probably together is uh get all the other achievements we didn't actually mm. there's some from the new season <laughs> that we yeah, haven't got a few left yeah there are quite a few yeah a <laughs> yeah. lot of villains to face a lot of uh at, at the the challenge modes on the team the team villains from villains multiverse some of them are really hard <laughs> like oh yeah, yeah. Brutal. <laughs> but you don't have to play all of them on challenge at the same time if you want but that is more fun probably to as a as a real challenge uh colonel grim said that their first ever citizen dawn game was unwinnable due to horrible citizen combo and megalopolis shutting us down early so we, we're not talking we're not saying like any given draw or shuffle is winnable mm. but that like you could play that same setup again and you can win, right? There, there are shuffles that are going to let you win. But there are certainly, like, Citizen Don can actually be brutal to discard all your cards and stuff like that. We actually had a, was like the second or third game on Tantalever Live or Sentinels Live at the time. We played Citizen Don and she discarded all our cards at the start of the game. Because that's the thing that she yeah. can do with Blinding Blast and Sweat and Tears. And we did that intentionally. We're like, all right, we're going to play Citizen Don. We know this might happen, so we're going to bring a hero that can help. So we brought the Visionary, because the Visionary yeah. can mm-hmm. actually let someone draw and have a card to play on their turn. <laughs> and we were yeah. able to win that game, even starting with zero cards uh, on the first hero turn. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's... Uh, I mean, yeah, you, you need a, a, a specific setup, I guess. But the, there's a, the extreme hostage situation achievement mm, yeah. for... Defeat don't the without playing any cards at all i don't know if you could beat citizen dawn like that but <laughs> yeah it's usually easier to go after like baron blade for those ones <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's how i did it yeah i definitely tested uh, that achievement and got it but i don't remember how i did it i'm uh i'm uh i i, I will admit it i got it off a of wager master uh no, you no, can't no. do that anymore <laughs> <laughs> i mean you, you can still get it from wager master but not that easily <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I think I literally just restarted the game like 15, 20 times, and then that yeah. was it. Yeah. <laughs> that achievement I, was there before was Wager Master, so yeah, <laughs> that's why. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, though I will say, I was because <laughs> when I when I got when I first uh, bought the game, like all I, I bought all the DLC. The, the guys were having a sale back in like April or mm. something, and um, because I had been playing with Jack. I like had half the achievements because that's how Steam Remote Play works. Like download the game on your right. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so I couldn't actually like do all the variants. Oh, do I you got... actually do you actually get achievements from Steam Remote Play? That's yeah. weird. I didn't know that. I mean, that's, yeah, no, that's no, no, interesting. No. I get his achievements. So everything he did because we we have to have our games synced. Oh, oh, so you're like logged play. into his Steam account. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um. That's interesting. Yeah. And uh. So I never got to experience like uh, unlocking most of the variants. There were mm. like a dozen that I was able to do, uh, which were super fun. Um, and but 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 uh, on the on just on the subject of achievements, that's, that's a bit of a segue. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, one of the things we've really enjoyed over the years is the the variant unlock hunt that the mm-hmm. community does. That mm-hmm. like we program in the secret conditions, and like people get really into the puzzle solving and everything. So 
hopefully there will be more achievements someday or more variants someday that uh that that can happen for so mm -hmm. that would be that cool. that would be cool yeah all right, so it's getting late here on the Atlantic time zone, yeah, I so I think we're going to wrap it up. 10, so <laughs> yeah, it is, it is very late. <laughs> yeah. Oblivion mode is like that. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, it's been a, hey, a thanks ton so of much fun. Thanks for having us. Yeah. That was super fun. I Thank you so much for having game. us. Yeah, uh, yeah so uh, we'll just wrap up here. I'm John. You can find me on MigrantP on Twitch, on Twitter, and all the places. Lead developer at Handlabra. Uh, Jeremy is our president and CEO and super villain. I believe he's in the credits there. You just saw, uh, I he's am. Mr. J Handel on Twitter and I'll let Jack go ahead. And if you want to mention where you can be found or anything, uh, yeah, don't really have anything to plug, but, um, yeah, just wanted to say thanks again for inviting us and, uh, appreciate all the work you do on the game. And, uh, yeah, thanks for giving us, uh, you know, hours and hours of fun. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, well, thank you for playing it. <laughs> if it um, wasn't, if wasn't okay. for you, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. So. <laughs> um, and I'm I'm Conway. I go by Theophrastus or just Theo in most circles. You can actually find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Theophrastus1. I stream occasionally. I play games like Essentials of the Multiverse. Uh, that's the game I played the most, but I've also been playing other things if it's your jam. Uh, no pressure, obviously. Um, Go ahead uh, and type, type that into the chat so people have a link. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. If, yeah, I would yeah. know how to spell it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh... That's a, that, that's what it is. Nice. Um, shout out to the trip to, to the traveler group. You know who you are, uh, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. So uh, thanks a lot. It's been a, lot, a fun time and uh, great to see. You know how how you two managed to uh, get into the Hall of Fame in some of the hardest hardest Indeed. ones. So. <laughs> All right, uh, going to call it a night then. So thanks, chat, for, for watching, and uh, we'll see you on future streams. Have a good night. Oh, and thanks, Jack, night, for pick, picking Bye. up the ball. On this, on yeah, this, thanks, Jack. Yes. <laughs> thanks for, for bringing us home Happy tonight to. after Happy the, to. the sink broke. <laughs> yeah. All right, good night. <laughs>